It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the brilliant idiots, and uh, we don't have no pre-roll? No pre-roll. All right, no pre-roll. Okay, we can get right to it. Uh, first of all, my man Glasses Malone is here. Yeah. Glasses Malone has returned to the brilliant idiots. Uh, Glasses Malone, the disruptor. Tupac must die. Lord have mercy. Dude, better, that was wild. You better put that in some context. Shit, I let, I let glasses hey, take that's that. No, that's worse than you saying nigga. You know how they always, <laughs> you know how they always think you said nigga every week? <laughs> Don't let them isolate Yo, that. they could never catch me on the N-word, so now it's, look how he says blacks. No, look how he said Tupac must die. <laughs> that's like that so th this is a Glasses Malone song and video. Yeah. Very, very, and by the way, yes. before we say anything, it's a good song. And it was a good, a good song, great it's a story. Great video. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I why really like it, man. Just being dope. You know, I, I tell gangster rap stories all the time. Right. This is just a gangster rap story that everybody else care about. Um, it ain't nothing. I'm a fan of Tupac like everybody else, but it's just a gangster rap story. Great hip hop takes a mainstream topic and then get the streets perspective. Right. Baby Lane is the streets perspective to this mainstream conversation and. I could relate to the character enough to where I could deliver it. That's all. And you know, it's interesting too because it's like, um, it's like with any type of art, right? Like, I, you know, even with the, what's the young lady who did the joke last week about XXX Natasha Yon? Dina Hashem. Dina Hashem. Yeah. That's her art. True, Yo, right? And you're entitled yeah. to create your art. Now, you have to deal with the consequences sure, sure. of whatever said art is. Yeah, like, there's yeah. no rules for that. Yo, yeah. Can we talk about how comedians are the biggest gangsters in entertainment now? I agree because they say what they want to say. This is this is what last week told me with the Dina Hashem joke. Mm -hmm. The comedians, we gotta be the biggest gangsters entertainment because we have rappers talking to us like, guys, could you tone it down a little bit? That was a little distasteful. But I agree. But, but that's they, what happened. And they got it to you too. Yeah. I bet the rappers say yeah, that, 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 was, that was a little much, yeah. guys. You're from Can a we put some gloves on? You're from a different era. Yeah. We yeah. was outside. Yeah. So it's easy to feel that way on social media. And tell you in Florida somebody, doing a show and XXX yes. and Tashian family rolling with them pistols. Now it's all, it was just a joke. They don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, yeah. So by the way, I'm for it all. I'm for yeah. Glasses making his music. Right. I'm for Shorty making the joke. Right. But you just have to deal with all consequences of it. I, right. I really don't think mine was that bad, personally. Well, well you were telling so. the story of, of Tupac's death, yeah. right? And, and you were making the argument that he had jumped some people. Not me. Not me. Oh, because That's the story. That's what happened. Well, that's the story. Well, that's the that's story happened, is that right? he had jumped some but people. But it's from the person's perspective who got jumped. Right. So that's the title. That's the song. That's the content in general. It's from his perspective. So this is not you saying this is what should have happened. You're no. saying uh, this guy is like, yo, they beat me up. What am I supposed to do? Let exactly. them beat me Simple up? Simple as that. Right. Simple as that. And, and it's based around that. Yeah. And it's based around that, the whole culture. You know what I mean? Of yeah. What I, I was telling Charlamagne earlier, like you either going to be Chauncey from Menace Society where everybody going to be playing the tape and you getting, you know, talk about how you got beat up. Right. You know what I mean? And talking to you about getting beat up or you going to be Eileen's cousin and you you ain't going out like that. Came back busting. Yeah. You know, also, yeah. um, I, I, I think that's the other thing, too. Like, people don't know that Glasses, your, one of your homies, yeah. was allegedly in the car. Yeah, Freaky Dre. With Orlando. Freaky Dre, rest in peace. And He's dead now? Yeah, he passed away. Yeah, he, Everybody uh, that was in the car died. Everybody except Keefy one. D. And he's telling the story. Well, he's been telling the story for years now. And what does he say? Well, he's putting a little, I think, you know, don't be mad, but I think he put an extra because he kind of puts Puff into the situation, but I doubt Puff. What does he say? How does he tell the story? Oh, it's all online. Just go to Vlad's interviews. He says, um, it was about money. Like they got paid money and then that became the opportunity to collect on the money. That would be too good. Like you would have to be like the master chess player to know Orlando was going to be there in that moment. Yeah, know that Death Row was going to be coming out at I that time. I'm not buying it. Death Row, they jump him. I, then Orlando would go retire. Like, that's too, like, I, I don't know. Nah, ain't nobody that I shrewd. I ain't buying it. No, nah, I'm not buying it. I, I think really, like, it's the same thing that happened in our, you know, community, our culture all the time. It happens all the time. It's normal stuff. Right. It just happened it just to happen happen to, be to a famous person. Yeah. And I think that's what spotlight on it. everybody's hurt. Everybody's broken in pieces. You know what I mean? They like, well, Glasses, how can you say that? And I'm like, well, it's not me. Even though if, if the Pope and seven priests jump me, the Catholic Church gonna bury somebody. Right. If Jesus and the 12 disciples jump me, Mary gonna bury somebody. Like, I'm just not going for that. Why can't we all just make music like Chance the Rapper? Because Chance, Chance talking about oh. nope, somebody must die. Yeah. <laughs> I love my wife. 
<laughs> if you had seen that, yes. But I realized oh, no, I that the that. remix. Yeah, I think that's the stupidest shit in the world. Though. Oh, that shit. No, it was me, funny. Bro. What they said I about Chance was funny, but dying, I'm like, bro. rappers rap about fucking a bunch of different girls, mm-hmm. beating up girls, pimping girls all through an album, and nobody mm-hmm. cares. As soon as Chance comes out and raps about loving his wife, he's a clown. As soon as a comedian makes a joke. Oh my God, shut it all down. Listen, you can make all the jokes in the world. Son, but the but fact that... But if XXX didn't talk to y'all, people pull up with nah, these it wasn't even X's fans that bothered me because they love him and to him, and to him, he was like their Tupac, right? He was their like guru, right? What bothered me was that there was like rappers like Joyner Lucas had like a post about it. Joyner Lucas does songs with Eminem. Eminem! Take seven kids from Columbine, stand them all in line, add an AK-47, a revolver, a nine. Like... Where's the smoke? So when a guy's paying you and a guy's putting you on and a guy's giving you an no, opportunity, no, no, you're right. But it ain't that. It's that that when Joyner Lucas hears that, he don't care about the kids at Columbine. That's just the truth to the matter. He cares about XXX Tintashi. Ah, so he was a fan like that Absolutely. too. Absolutely. I think it's just virtue signal. I think he's. Like, I think everybody who said something about it is like, yo, let me look woke for a second. Let me look like I care. So well, there's I two things. Some, I think for a black life. man. I think for a black man, it's. it's it's traumatizing because that we f- we see that so much in our sure. community. We always feel like that could be us. So you to know see how somebody- traumatizing school shootings are for the whites. I believe that. I'm serious. I believe that. that. Is y'all That's our drive. I believe that. That is your drive. That. And it's happening all the time. <laughs> so when we see that, it's traumatizing. So to hear somebody make a joke about it, you're like, nigga, what the fuck? I wish I heard the joke. I didn't even hear the damn joke. Decent I didn't joke. know what's going on. It was a good joke. Decent. 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 It was a good joke. These, Andrew, you're it fight, was a good joke. You're fighting for the freedom of it, but it was a decent joke. It, it was wasn't, a good joke. It wasn't hilarious. It, it wasn't was like a good joke. Eh, it was decent. a good joke. It was, the, it was, a, Idea is it was very a good observation. Good. Listen, if he, he basically, she basically was like, has, he was riding around with fifty thousand dollars cash. Has he never heard of Vimeo? It's not Vimeo. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> Venmo. It, it, he goes. He had fifty thousand dollars cash. He was going to buy a car. Yeah. Right. And he got shot. And the money was taken. He got shot and killed. The money was taken. And I remember watching that thinking, like, this is the best commercial for Venmo I've ever seen. She Venmo's, said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was your joke. No, that's hers. Really? This is the best commercial Venmo I've ever seen. I need a, I need a Venmo account. And oh, Venmo I thought she, is a cash app. Oh, yeah, I thought she said, I thought she said he has, he never heard of Venmo. That's what I thought he said. I, I heard y'all say that on Flagrant, the, the, the best commercial for Venmo. I thought she said, has he never heard of Venmo? No, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm upgrading it, but who knows? You see, but, I'm, I'm about, what did you say you was doing? Listen, when you're the greatest, you're the greatest. I'm just bro. saying. <laughs> the joke was, it was decent. It was a decent observation. Sure. But I like it, didn't, it didn't deserve all the hate and smoke. That's what I'm thinking. It's like, we we upset about murder now. Really, rappers? Yeah, we upset I, by murder, mm, rappers? Once Come again. on, what are we going to be upset next by? Drug dealing jokes? Listen. Is once, that, is that, once is again, that what y'all gang said? jokes? Is that going to bother us? I'm telling you, we're in the blog era where squares are running everything and they are super like I just was saying is J. Cole and Drake have the two best gangster rap songs in the last two years what are they like so J. Cole has a song called making the list checking it twice and getting people killed mm-hmm. on the song this is J. Cole and then Drake has a song called Nonstop, where he talking about you gotta kill to show him you down and it's Drake and J. Cole so when you walk in the room with some real gangster rap it's like they could put their nuts on the table, but then some real gangster nuts on the table. It's right. like the whole table is covered, and everybody is mad. They like sick. I, I can't call it gangster unless you're willing to deal with all the smoke that comes with it. Because well, let's be clear, even though we sit here, we I didn't know a Texan Tashi. Sure, you know, I never sure, met him. Sure. I mean, I got a family. Like, he got mm-hmm. people that really love him, that really care for him, that really grew up with him. That was a real person to them. Yeah. So they down to do whatever yeah. for somebody disrespecting their people. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak for the fans on social media right. and everybody right. else. But, we, but if yeah. you're a comedian or a rapper, once you put it out there, you can't hide behind, I'm just, it's just rap or it's just comedy when somebody want to see you behind some shit. I agree. But, uh, but no, I don't comedian. think that we should, yeah, I don't comedy. think we should like allow or tolerate bad behavior. What do like, you mean? Like, I mean, that's like you don't get the call. You don't get the you don't you don't get to say that though. You don't get to yeah, call that. What yeah. I always say, why you can't, not? You can't do that's stuff. That's why there's rules. It's illegal no to rules. hurt people. No, yeah, they're, this they're, is America, dog. You know where we live, right? When you when you doing the when you doing a joke like that about X X and Tatiana, yeah. you're sliding into a different lane. Yeah, if I make, just, if somebody make a joke about Nipsey, yeah, now you sliding into a thing. different lane. Now yeah. you are dealing with Crips and you are dealing with people, upset people in the hood. I like you chose to come over here. No, I don't. Now what See, you're doing is you do now that. what you're doing. Are you feel that same smoke about Bin Laden taking down the towers? What I do you want mean? you to keep the same energy. They now. retaliated against Bin Laden. So, that's, so you cool with that? 
America retaliating? No, bin Laden, bin Laden retaliating for American intervention in the Middle East. You cool with it? Am I cool with it? I'm just, hey, the bin Laden, argument listen, is, no, bin Laden, hey, don't bin come Laden, over here unless no, you want you're not the listen smoke. listen to And he did. And he got the smoke. Exactly. And listen, he got that, the girl, smoke. that girl who made that joke, yeah. I'm not a, I'm not mad at her for making that joke. Listen, but if somebody walks up to her and punches yeah. in her, her in her face, I can't say, damn, she didn't deserve that. That ain't my business. She yes, did you some... can say a girl didn't deserve to get punched in the face. How many times have I gotten punched in my face for shit I said on the radio? You're a dick. So what? And people think that woman <laughs> that is a dick, a dick for making... Was, people that think dick move. People, no, 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 I understand. What, what, I'm, teasing. What, what, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I understand I what you're saying. I don't understand how people think but, mine but you know, is a dick move. But no, you know what I would say for you is they should never have punched you in the face. No, I can't, I think can't, the argument, can't say that, Schultz. Yeah, but we should. We live no, in a civilized that's culture. That's pussy. No, it isn't. I'm going to tell you why it's pussy. You can't. You, Listen. I don't understand why. Because he feels like you saying. should use your words. And it's like, no, some people have more <laughs> wit than other people. It's like a parent. Yo. Use that's what Andrew is saying. No, we should use our words. No, don't use your word. Do whatever you want. But you have to understand... We're going to give you these jokes. And all I'm saying is keep the same energy. If you're okay with all the smoke when it comes to music, you're okay with all the 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 murder in television shows, you're okay with all that shit and all other aspects of entertainment. And then when the comedians come along, it's like, oh my God, but, how dare shows, you? You know, if you, you might not consider you yourself did, a comedian, people but people rap, see you as a yeah, comedian. P- people get point, killed over They rap. fight over this shit. Like people, see, y'all only see what y'all see on blog. I was with a rapper yesterday. I meant right. to tell you this. I'm not going to say who it is. Yeah. When it, when First it comes, of all, I, Okay, go I'll on. let him tell it because he he told his own story. It was so much shit going on that we had no idea about, right. based off shit that we heard about in the music, and that's what I'm saying. It's shit that happens in the streets that people have no idea about when it comes to this rap shit over lyrics, over motherfucking uh, niggas canceling shows, whatever it is. Right. So comedians got to take that same smoke. Listen. Yeah, that's I've true. been punched in the face on stage for shit I said. I get death threats every week for what oh, from I got my a good jokes. One this week. Oh, can we go back and forth with death threats? Because I got to. I go think mine might be better. I'm hey, finally glad I joined the club. You want to do it? You want to? You want to? You want to go special? You want to go death threat? My career is different now. Hold on, we going death threat for death threat, bro? I got a good. Mine is good. I said you want you want to go first. You want me to go first? Go ahead. Who want to go first? Hold on, hold on. Who want to go first? Let me check my death. If you would, I'll go. All right, ready? Here it is. Ready? Okay, what date was this? All right, this is this is uh, last Friday, 11.31 a.m. All right. Okay? I was doing this uh, joke about uh, cutting off clits, right? This uh, <laughs> <laughs> What kind of joke? And then uh, uh, so the Somali woke Twitter got upset at me. Ready? You fucking son of a bitch. If I ever catch you making FGM jokes, female genital mutilation, about Somali girls, you fucking white cunt, I will personally kill you with my bare hands, you no good for nothing, sick, degenerate, dog kissing, sister fucking, white swine consuming, porth breath, porth breath cunt. Pretty good. You're a dead man. I hope you know that. Okay. Whoa, whoa, no, no. It's not done yet. (laughs) (laughs) It's not even close. Keep a close look over the next Somali you see. I hope they stick a knife so deep in your jugular you slave master ancestors can smell your pork breath since they're rotting in their grave and ending up in hell where you soon will be heading. You white bastards think you were really doing something dehumanize. Yep. Our women as if your white bitches and whores don't have filthy desires. Disease and maggots filled rotten putrid pussies. I will draw blood from you, you white cunt. Your days on this earth is numbered. Go molest some kids like the rest of your race or go fuck your sister whilst whilst you're at your your whilst you're at it, you son of a white pussy stinking bitch. I will kill you. Mark my words. Yeah, we should take that serious. <laughs> All right. Now, mine, mine, mine. This is a weekly occurrence. For, so, like, mine I deal with hourly. the smoke no, all the mine, time. Mine isn't yeah. even hourly. It's we competed for who want to, more people. Right? Want to kill. Okay. How competitive are we? No, people want to kill me more. I think, but no, no. I'm gonna tell you something. I think we need Shit. to share these more. Right? Yes, we do. To sell what we I deal with. No, well, exactly. IG. I put all minds on IG. Can't, all right. So this comes from the. This, the Yo, but you got security, bro. Yes, I don't. Well, you're stupid. You right. <laughs> right. I'm also okay. poor. The email, the email that they sent it to was they sent it from fuckyoulenard at gmail.com. <laughs> they now, let me say, <laughs> no, let me tell you how they spell uh, fuck you. They spelled fuck f u k u y u i Lenard. That's scary by itself, right? And the subject is that means someone took the right way to spell it. Yes. 
the, su- the, 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 the subject is GFY. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, Leonard the retard. The message. Go fuck yourself, GFY. Oh, oh. And this is after I did MSNBC. Yes. Right? Yes, yes, yes. He said, watch your disgusting, liberal, degenerate mouth when talking about the president of the USA. I will cut your fucking tongue out and make your ugly wife eat it. Piece of shit, bitch. You are not even talented. Just another angry, racist piece of shit. Signed, Enrique. <laughs> <laughs> We should write back, build the wall. (laughs) (laughs) That was a good one. one. Short and to the point. Short to the point. Short and to the point. Short to the point, man. You know, know, I like... He oh gave me a God. lot of bars, but there was a lot of repetition in my yeah, bars, I, I would say. Him. It was a lot of repetition. That was too much type of yeah, swine. Yeah, you, you was, a lot of swine. He wasn't going to do nothing. Yeah, he too much type of him to do something. Yo, nah. don't, don't it, like, enable him. Don't make him prove himself. <laughs> but, 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 I'm going to tell you all something for everybody that sends death threats. The yeah. scary ones yeah. are the three, four words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's over for you. <laughs> it's over for <laughs> you. That shit. This dude put up my childhood address. No. Yeah, Whoa. it was like, I know you live here. I can't find a message because I laughed so hard at it. And I just remember Ted, he was like, Yeah, you know, I can't find it. But he said, like, I'll blow the top rhyming out your head. Like, I don't know if he was a rapper because he had metaphors. He was like, This is your address, such and such. And I was I just remember DMing him back, like, please don't go over there, dude. Like, it's not gonna be cool, this little dude get killed playing around and watch yeah, like yeah, this yeah, serious yeah, this is yeah. not no joke like it, this I feel privileged like last time I was here I didn't have no death threats and for sure I got over 60 so welcome to the club yeah, the, the last scary that one, means you making a difference it's rare air the last rare really air. scary one I got was somebody left a comment on Instagram and they said this is your last morning <laughs> 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 that shit was scary. I was like, "Yo, man, That's not funny." Yeah, go. You respond to them. Yes, because yes, yes, I wanted to see. I go. I just put the face like, "Hmm." I do yeah, that all the right? time too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he immediately replied back, "Bro, I'm outside the station, man. I've been here for the past three days just trying to get <laughs> get at you, man. Like, what's up?" I just want. And I'm like, "I right, go see who this motherfucker is." And then that's what I did. And he was really, he was somebody was really out there, but he he didn't have no beef though. Now, as far I don't know if he had beef or not, but he had said he'd been there for the past three days just because he wanted to. Say what's up, take a picture, some shit like that. Yeah. But that that was a nice little way to get my attention. Damn. This is your last morning. <laughs> what does that mean? Yo, you know what? You know what? I got I got a good one, bro. Let, let me fucked up. Let, oh, let me show one. you. I got a good one. I got a good one. Uh Man, you've been getting them a lot recently uh, on shows. Dude, all the time I've been getting them forever. That means you're being honest. Dude, but that's the thing. You know, I mean, like, y'all know my humor. Y'all know the yeah, jokes yeah. I tell. There's, but there's you're always someone who's going to be upset about it. You want to get death threats. You only get people that mad when you're honest. Yeah, nobody cares if you bullshit. Yeah, if you Facts. Lie. If they know you bullshit and if they know you just yeah, trolling, whatever. You, they might slap the shit. They might be like, I'm going to slap the shit out you when I see you. But they're not really actively trying to get you the fuck out of here. Bro, yeah. 100%. And if it's effective. There's something about people laughing. It really bothers people. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so it's like, it, and I think that's why comedians is like such a touch. It's like such an annoying point. Like if you make a statement, people are like, oh, how dare he say that? But when you make a statement, and the whole room of people are laughing at it. It's like, oh no, we need to get this swine breath motherfucker out of here. Bro, a joke will lighten the mood. Why do you think Mitch McConnell is so infuriated this week? Because you went going at him, huh? Mos- no, Moscow Mitch. That's Moscow. Nobody, Mitch. yo, you niggas hate nicknames. <laughs> like nah, you, nicknames you, work. you can't. Son, <laughs> Trump won a presidency off of making That's nicknames. What I'm saying. If you let, if you make a nickname stick to somebody, sure. oh my god. Yeah, especially Son, a nickname they don't want. This one guy got me. I was reading death threats, and uh, and I was uh, going to a new email, and the 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 title of the email was uh, huge. Fan, exclamation point. And I was like, you know what? Let me read like something nice about me finally. And uh, I opened it up. He goes, fuck you, die, motherfucker. <laughs> First, yeah, like, he got me with the title, bro. And what was the title? Up. The title was, the title was a uh, huge fan, exclamation point. So he drew me in. As soon as you click. Rope a dope. <laughs> How do y'all deal with that? I just um, blocked that shit out, bro. I don't, I don't it depends, know. though. I, like, when it first started happening on social media... I think I think everybody got a different reaction because we all got on Twitter what ten years ago maybe. Sure. Yeah. So when it first started happening, we you know you like fuck you you pussy motherfucker pull up I'll beat the shit out like whatever because you yeah. like you don't get it. But then once you understand what social media is, yeah. you start to ignore it. But then when you start to realize that the general public. Is believing ninety eight percent of the bullshit that people are saying, whether yeah. it's on YouTube, Twitter, sure. Instagram, whatever. You like, when do I respond or do you respond? And that's when it becomes difficult. So honestly, for me, um, I just start like storying them, mm-hmm. and I'm just laughing at them. I'm like, and the, my mentality, I only laugh because it's like, if you understand the kind of person I am, it's like, 
I invited this energy. Right. Yeah. So it's like you think you walking into the party special and you ain't realize you got invited to the party. Right. So my whole mentality about it is like, I'm looking to make a victim out of somebody. Like I'm looking to do something to you because as far as what, like violently or whatever. Because nah, you don't want that. Oh, no, no, dude. Come no, on. listen. It, I'm gonna tell you why. It's like if you're not gonna be mad at every rapper lying, why are you gonna be mad at the one that's telling the truth? I don't have no choice. I cannot keep, you know, like when you have a powerful message, you gotta you gotta make sure people hear you. Right. So you got I have to come become so pure. Like my conversation needs to be so Colombian, so pure. Yeah. That is like it just cuts through every time. And yeah. it requires me to be honest and authentic. And if everybody is gonna be every last person that I could think of that was like that, mm-hmm. from the the stories of Jesus to Martin Luther King to Malcolm X to Tupac, anybody that was oh, authentically they, honest, they went through hell. So I have to think to myself, like, before I'm with dying, even Nip, like I have to be ready to kill faster. And I keep telling people, when I wrote this song, you could bet for sure I thought about what could happen. So at that point, you know, I'm prepared for what could happen. Mm-hmm. And that's the problem I have with anybody who creates any kind of art. Mm-hmm. You know that if you're doing something yeah. edgy, you know if you're doing something that involves somebody else yeah. and somebody else's life, mm-hmm. you're inviting all of those people that love that person into your life. Into your life. Mm-hmm. So you got to deal with that. Whether yeah. it's a joke, whether it's music, whether it's donkey of the day, whatever, it don't matter. You invited that. You can't be, you can't, I don't have, I, can't, I don't have the luxury of being like, man, you shouldn't be mad at that. Yeah. Nigga, you, no, I know how, I know people. No, you shouldn't be mad at that. You can well, say that, know. but they will be. It, but you, you realize that like, people are tweeting us about how upset they are on a device that was made by child slaves. You have no right in the world to be upset about a joke or a donkey today or whatever when you are ho- completely complacent in child slavery making your phone. Child slavery is way worse than anything that you could possibly say. Anything you could possibly say on Donkey of the Day. So it is mind-bogglingly hypocritical that your life is so cushy and nice. Your life is so convenient and regular that you'd be sitting inside your air-conditioned car apartment and then hear a joke and then feel the need to hurt somebody based on it. That's your biggest problem of the those, day is those, a fucking joke. Those XXX oh. Natasha Yan fans or those Tupac Man. fans don't have no emotional connection to them child slaves. No. Nah. Nah. I they know. Don't, they but don't that's know why, matter of fact, they don't even care. They don't know them. They don't care. They when don't... I was talking to Ida on the radio, yeah. doing that interview, and matter of fact, shout out to my homeboys, the Young Giants, Deuce, Joe. But we talked about this. Even Metro, my all my partners, and I'm like, it's crazy. Nobody cares about the other guy. Never. Nobody cares. Yeah. And it's like, well, his life ain't his worth worth as much as Tupac's. Says who? Like my life is worth as much as Drake's. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I don't know fuck real. how many rap songs a nigga made. I don't. My life is worth Don, uh, fucking Barack Obama. That nigga ain't more special than me. Right? Feel me? I don't care who you measuring it up to. In my mind, feel me? So especially to your family. Yeah. And you got not only your family and friends. Friends. It's my, people out there that's mad at you over this song. Yeah. And they might if they move on you, yeah. your family and friends don't give a fuck whether they agree my with you or not. My dad is on what Facebook. What do they get from moving on you? Does XXX come back? I don't Does know what, Tupac come back? What did they get for killing XX and Tatiana? Who knows? 50, nobody has, nobody but, cares. But, but now what we're 50, doing is... <laughs> like, 50, oh, yeah, they did get 50,000. No, I, 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 I don't we'll, know if they wanted to kill him as much as they wanted to We're trying to justify the violence, right? And we should never be justifying crazy. like that. I'm not going to go in here and just start justifying crazy people's well, actions. But what's a war worth fighting? Like, name a war worth... Name a, name a time when it's worth to take save your life. life. I'll take your life to save mine. But 100%. is that really worth it? To save my life? I won't take your life? You crazy. You just told me your life is worth more than Barack Obama. That means you're willing to die to save, you're willing to kill to save yours. For a lot less. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, for me, that's the only time, but for somebody else to risk their livelihood, risk their, they probably got a family. These people now are getting taken away from their family. Sure. They, for nothing, right? Like, the same literally but, but nothing you don't, same happens. Risk you're, your same risk you're willing to take for that joke. Of course. Like Gene's willing to take for that song. Mm-hmm. They're willing to take for their people. Not everybody's, not, and I mean this, because not everybody is, here's the thing, not everybody is built like us, though. Sure. Not everybody's willing to take the smoke for the art. Yeah. I love this, and this is what I do. My intention is never to piss be- these people off. I'm a comedian. Mm-hmm. I make jokes to make people laugh. That is always my intention. You want me to stop telling a joke? Don't laugh. 
I'll never tell a joke that nobody laughs at anymore. I didn't hear a lot of people laughing at that that's that sex and Tasha Yan joke. Maybe <laughs> No, no, the joke got a laugh in front of a completely neutral audience. They weren't even kind her of like fans. A, it sounded like a laugh track from the TV network. I'm beyond with you. No, t- <laughs> trust me when I tell you this. <laughs> I did, it Comedy did. Central is not smart enough to even put a laugh track. <laughs> Damn. Th- this is how poorly they produce their shit. So do not Damn. Eat, like trust me. That is a real Really? Shit. I ain't watch Comedy Central no I know I do watch Trevor Noah sometimes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're, I think they're told to laugh on those But you know what? This is something I wanted to share with right. you. Yeah. Some of those people, that is their life. Like, it's people, right? But how that silly is that? It's Th- so dumb. What do you like, mean like, that is their life? We don't. Like, it's people who dedicate their life to Tupac's legacy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's people who talk to me like they really knew him. Like, and they dedicate. You got to understand the type of human beings. Like I said, people knew this. I always say the greatest marketing meeting was the Council of Nicaea. That meeting in Nicaea was the greatest marketing meeting ever. The minds that that were in that room. So that's when they came together and created what we call Christianity. Mm -hmm. The, the, The Bible. They selected the books in the Bible. They put together the way we would view Christianity, Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, everything came from that meeting. So they understood how people needed to perceive Jesus to make the whole empire of Rome follow. So some of these people's legacies are so put together so well that they draw in people to follow and that becomes their life goal is to follow that legacy. So like he's right, like it's people who follow, like it's people who follow Tupac's page and they Every post, man, they have to post every day, three, four times a day, and they posting Tupac this, Tupac that, Tupac this. Every day. And in my mind, like I, it's different because I didn't even make a joke. I didn't even disrespect or nothing. I'm just giving you another perspective, another perspective. Yeah. of of, right. a, of of an actual event. You feel me? Allegedly. Yeah. So I can see if I said, oh, fuck this man, or this man is a bitch, or something like that. Motherfuckers is mad just because the light for them. And I really believe they had to deal with a truth that they never wanted to deal with. I thought about that, too. I thought about people looking at that video saying, He's my man really me. dead on some bullshit. Yeah. Like, he didn't and, have to and, do and, what and he who did. who actually wants to say that about, it's like if I showed you that Jesus had a wife and kids. Like, what if I walked in here with Jesus' cousin? Mm-hmm. Like, this is really Jesus' cousin. And so your whole Somebody got to be Jesus' cousin, right? It, no, because yeah. it, in no, the, he, was, he was a single child. They say he was a single child, and he didn't have nobody. Wait, but did did Mary have any brothers or sisters? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mary only got fucked. Well, she didn't even get fucked. Mary no. only got a baby. But imagine, but imagine she got fucked in. after. He's like, well, now that you popped, you could be yeah. Jesus' half brother, half sister. So you like, <laughs> well, she was a yeah. virgin before from the story. No, she's a virgin before, but you know, after Joseph is down. like, yo, come on now, yeah. But so, them cheeks. so imagine if I walked in here with a little dude, and I'm like, yeah, he's from Jesus' bloodline. This is Jesus' long line descendant. Yeah, but your right. whole life, you know, you've been told this. Like we almost think Michael Jackson is a virgin. Yeah. No way. Yes, we seen Surviving Neverland. Yeah, yeah. All right. No, well, no, he saying, fucked Madonna. I heard, but it, he was married. Oh yeah, he fucked the Elvis Presley, Lisa, Lisa, Presley. Lisa, Presley. Yeah. Lisa Marie Presley. You ain't never heard no woman come out and say she fucked Michael Jackson. Say what? Huh? Think about it. I no, thought Madonna. Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie. I never heard her talk about sleeping with Michael Jackson. Yeah, they was married. They were, yeah, I mean, again. Now nah, she talked about fucking him. Did she? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, well I was sleep on that. Jesus Christ! If I walked in here with his descendants, so the, but even though even the little boys don't count. He didn't sleep with them little boys. <laughs> I don't think he did it either, but they don't count. <laughs> he definitely slept with them. We don't know if he did anything I mean, sexual. according to them, it was <laughs> Jesus, and you Juice, know what's and funny? I'm glad you said that, though, right? Because it's like, we for sure know Michael Jackson didn't do this. I just don't understand no, why. No, I don't for sure know. I don't think he did, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't want to believe that. he did. I don't think he did. I, 17 years investigated by the FBI, and they ain't find shit. I mean, goddamn. 17-year FBI I, investigation? I, I've just been feeling like that about the R. Kelly stuff. No, he did it. No, uh, no. Because it's not R. Kelly did it. R. Kelly's only problem is he don't know when to say no. What? His only problem is he don't know when to say no. My mind's telling me no? Yeah, but his body is telling him yes. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. Explain this to me, G. By the way, this is glass. That's why when people hear this song, when people hear this song and they like, they're bugged, I'm like, this is glasses. Yeah. This is him. That's what I had to start really doing with my music, just being more authentic and sincere. Go into R. Kelly. Go into the R. Kelly thing. Well, R. Kelly is like, what are we really mad at him about? Fucking little girls. How little? They was 13. You sound a lot like R. Kelly. No, I'm just saying how little. You sound like R. Kelly and Victoria. No, I'm not. When you say teen, what do you what mean, do you mean exactly? by teen? He didn't even say teen. He said little. Because God, I asked him how young. Excuse me. Yes. Okay, so right. 13, 14. Are we mad that he just slept with them? That's illegal. Yeah. So it's against the law, right? Yeah. So at that point, it's a violation of statutory laws. 
And morally, though. Morally, I'm like, why would a 50-something-year-old man, 40-something-year-old man want to sleep with 13-year-old girl? See, obviously, when, when he was 50. But morals is a very, like, individualized thing. Mm-hmm. Well, I think the thing about morals is that we all share them, right? No. No. Well, my set of morals is different. totally different than your morals. Uh, I, I you disagree. Said I'm going to tell you, he said something Ill, earlier that was ill when you was talking about how a lot of the gangbangers, you know, used to have to get high. To do the work. And drunk and to do the shit that they was doing. So that lets me know they knew morally yeah. this shit ain't right, that's but I got to get out of a state of mind. That's because we all share the same morals. That's the thing about morality, right? If you look at any religion in the world, or you look at any belief yes. system, they all share the same morals. Now, there are certain codes that we live by that are outside of mor- our morality, Right, and those codes that we have to get drunk or high mm-hmm. to end up doing because they don't sit with us morally. But, but are we saying religion leads all people? No, no. It's religion is a so reflection a of natural, humanity. Like so, yeah. laws reflect the people, right? Yeah. In a in a time in history where everything's really dangerous, you're gonna have really strict laws. In a time in history where things are not dangerous, you're gonna have really loose laws. Sure. You know, like just right now, like you can just fucking do anything in America. Every anything's fucking legal well, no, in America. Te- technically, because technically, technically it's not. I mean, that's, that's the fucked up part. Yeah, technically, it's know. not supposed to be yeah, because of that Bible. Yeah. That Bible is supposed to keep so, everything morally sound. We need the Bible again, bro. We need religion again, bro. I mean, people are going crazy out here. I don't know if people I, give up. I, I don't think, don't, don't, yo, ain't nobody scared of God no more. No, well, God, listen, God, been God need to come back. That's what I'm saying. God need to pull God up. God need to pull, pull, God to, need God to need to pull, pull the toe out the sky. Yo, so, God, God, walk on that water. That's all Do I'm saying. Shit, just let us know that's, because motherfuckers are going crazy out so, here. Son. I swear, and by the way, nature is that. Yeah, we don't even there. look at nature as God That's no more. God. We yeah. don't even respect God nature, need a, God, need a, God need a better marketing plan. God needs to, like, we, listen, I'm That's all in on That's what I was saying about the Council of Nicaea. That's what made it so sweet. But you got to think that marketing meeting lasts for, I don't know, 1,600 years or 1,700 years? I can't take credit for this. I got to give credit to a comedian named Kurt Metzger on this, but I was talking to my boy Tim Tim Dillon about Bro, this. Bro, just take the joke like everybody else no, it's does. not a joke. It's a, it's a take. Oh. It's a take, right? And we're talking about... We're talking about why, what, what happened because now there's no religion, right? And people are freaking out because you need purpose, right? The average person isn't like us, that they don't know their purpose. The average person is just going through life trying to eat and survive. So they have to find a new purpose, right? So they find their new purpose in, they find their new purpose in veganism, feminism, Follow yeah. Tupac. whatever it is, follow Tupac, right? And what happens is they become religious about these new things, Right? This dude told me I was Wait blasphemous. For it. Wait for it, right? They become religious. Going at Pac? Yeah, and I didn't even go at Pac. I know, I know, I know. So, <laughs> so what? The, but here's the thing: this is where it gets crazy. They become religious about these new things. This is where it gets interesting. The problem is they only take the worst parts of religion. They only take the shame, the guilt, the the vengeance, the ostracization. The ostracization. They don't apply the forgiveness. The togetherness, the community, etc. If you're a vegan and someone's not a vegan, how dare you eat animals? You know what animals go through. Yeah, There's yeah, none yeah. of this. Hey, I forgive you. I know it's tough. Blah blah blah. So we've replaced religion because we need something to keep us fucking busy. That's why the council and I see it happen in the first place. They're like, sure. yo, we need these motherfuckers to do something. Yeah. So it's like we replace religion with these shittier, more negative forms of religion. Vegans are crazy because they got more empathy for animals than people. The people. They want people to eat. People that eat meat, they want them to die. So, <laughs> but, but don't kill that. That's what people keep saying. It's like, no, Glasses Malone deserve to die. Exactly. I didn't jump nobody, and I don't got nothing to do with yeah, it. But yeah, how yeah. they say that you're blasphemous, but then they can't forgive you. That, but the point, that's you see what I'm saying? Right, right, they taking the sense. worst yeah. parts of religion and then applying them to these beliefs because people are fucking bored. People need shit to do, dog. We need I to agree. give people things to do. I and agree. if it's not religion, it got to be, it's Fortnite. Let it be Fortnite. Let it be something where motherfuckers aren't out there just going crazy. And throwing milkshakes on people for no reason. Yeah. That's I what agree. I'm saying. We just that added another uh, powerful voice in the room. My man Taz. What up? 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 David Anderson is but here. Back, but back to the R. Kelly thing, like I was saying to you, right? Violating statutory laws. Why do we treat him like a rapist? He is a rapist, though. How? I think he's a rapist because you take away people. Like, I always feel like when you take away somebody's power of choice, it's criminal. But when you're a 40 something year old man, 50 something year old man, late 30s, and you're talking to a 13 year old, 14 year old, she's not really giving her a choice because she's really not even capable of making her own good decisions yet. That's the argument for. That's the, the argument they, for the statute, stat. stat right? That's what I'm saying. That's mm-hmm. the argument for stat. Mm-hmm. Because. I, the argument is like the number 18 is arbitrary, right? It's like and it's every only country, in certain states. Exactly. Every country got a different number. The number is essentially when do we think a girl's old enough to let a guy kick grown up game at her? That's really what we, that's the number. Yeah. Right? Back in the day, you want to ask like old, like Israelites and shit, they were like 13. 
Right now, mitzvah, right, now, mitzvah. right now in Japan. Motherfuckers died at 30 in Japan. So he shouldn't have went to Japan. That's the other reason he needed to be I'm under not, the jail. No, I'm He's not, a dumb motherfucker. Just saying, go to I'm a country you where you can money. do that. Word. I, I'm dude. not saying he shouldn't go to jail. I, I'm not in disagreement on that. I'm saying, why do, why do we as a black society, when we know in our culture, mm-hmm. men have entirely been talking to young girls forever, True. but why is he getting the blame? Like, he's for sure not the guy that... Everybody wanted to give R. Kelly pussy because we got 13, 14, 15 year old girls listening to his music. So they're fans. There's like collateral that, damage that, to change, dog. He broke the law. Collateral damage to I'm, change. I'm not saying it's, I agree, but we don't look at people. Are we, who break are the we, law are we talking like about this. morals or legislation? Did he no, because break- we. T- that's my point. Like, are, Morally, do you think he's wrong? Listen, everything about he's done is. Gee, gee, no, see, let me more, finish. Let me 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 finish. Let did Doc Winter tell you to take off R. Kelly's records? You said no. I said, did anybody tell you y'all were going to ban R. Kelly, burn R. Kelly, none of that? You said no. I said, so everybody's just as guilty. And until such time as you give Cosby the same type of treatment, until until Stephen Collins gets the same type of treatment, he's walking around here, Jerry Lee Lewis, all those folks. It's just like black folks will just hop on R. Kelly and ignore the fact that there's a bunch of pedophiles, a bunch of rapists, a bunch of... Uh, people who abuse women as a cause, but because they're white, we just let it slide. Oh, that's not our problem. Toronto Burke went on record, the founder of Me Too movement, and said, oh, well, you know, why would I go after white men? So it's not about protecting that's women. Like it's, it's, it's some bullshit. So to me, R. It's Kelly, that. even though I don't like R. Kelly, <laughs> and I think R. Kelly's disgusting yeah. as a person that has two black daughters, I'm like this, though. If the law is the law, then it needs to be equal protections under the exactly. law. And it needs to be equal prosecution under the law. Exactly. But we acting like Wait, on, all what? it takes is for them guys to get caught, though. Where no, I they can... weren't caught. Jerry Lee Lewis was walking around fucking his cousin. I'm not, Elvis I... Presley was fucking Priscilla Presley. Uh, he goddamn, died, though. Okay, Don Johnson and Melanie Griffin. If I could do this all yeah, day. Yeah, but Harvey Weinstein. But Harvey, Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein uh, got what? Ke- what's the guy from that? From how he moved. Oh, he didn't do oh, nothing yeah. with me and what's doing forever. Using their power against the vagina. Apl- are you implying that white pedophiles don't go to jail? No, I'm implying that when it comes to celebrity white pedophiles, they don't go to jail. That ain't true, though. Celebrity like, the pedophiles. The Me Too movement started with, going, er, with killing white people, white guys. Who who, who, got, who got killed? What's the dude from House of Cards? Uh, oh, yeah, Spacey. You mean Spacey who walked Spacey? out and got his, he got his charges dropped? Yeah. But he lost everything. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. He got his charges dropped because there were no charges because he hit on an 18-year-old, but his career and livelihood is done. For Where is second. this white protection yeah, I thought he was yeah. fucking a little boy. R. Kelly's still out here doing shows. This motherfucker Where? not Where, even... Where's the R. Kelly show? Zamimbia. No, it's over for R. Kelly. Out of Mongolia? Where's that happening? No, but R. Kelly been doing shows until this year. No, R. this is Kelly, this is because he's in, because he's in jail early, right because, now. No, but Listen, until this it, year, he was still doing shows. No, that Me Too put all that. To Not really. No, no, I, mean, I, I know for a fact because my boy yeah, was yeah, booking yeah, yeah, the yeah, shows. He was, he was, he was on TV. So yeah, like, he was overseas. He was, he was overseas. No, in America, but I, but he was I'm doing saying, shows until this year. But I'm saying remember, that's because in 19... real quick, real quick, guys, I just want to address this this idea that like. Like when you speak that's about that's right, defend whiteness. Right. See, that's why I fuck with Let's show. go, show. So, I want all the show. Three black guys on the podcast. Show like I'm a holy oh, devil. Yo, my yo, come on, bro. Bro. I want you to listen, listen on, baby. Bro. Listen, no, I love Andrew Schultz. No, because I love this man. No, because the problem with with the argument that okay. I've often heard is it's a distraction from the main point, right? It's like, right, we start the argument with, hey, this guy's a pedophile, this guy's a bad guy, yep. and then the argument turns to, but what about white pedophiles? They don't get ever charged, and now we stop talking about the pedophile. No, no, no. Here's what you want to get the bad. Okay, listen, show of hands, how many people were, were molested by somebody who was older than them? Define okay. molested. Um, well, in Charlemagne's case, he, damn, he got, 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 yeah, it's just me and Charlemagne, it. apparently. That's I mean, why I was so fucked girl, up oh, on the microphone. Okay. Okay. Yo, okay. I had a girl, I had like a friend's older sister like rub her butt against my dick when we worked at this pizza shop when I was like 12. <laughs> But, like, I was looking forward to it every day. No, no, let's I don't know if that's my ask this question. When you was young, glasses. Yeah. I didn't even have sex when I was 18. Oh, okay. You never uh, had an older woman touch on you when you Every was... last girl I've ever dated has always been over 18. And okay. I'm not saying that because of the law. I'm saying because by the time I started... <laughs> yeah. no, no, and I'm not I'm, saying that because like, of no, the I'm law. Sure. Glass got to redeem no, himself no, from the no, Mark Kelly no, 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 I love Glass. I redeem his shit. Well, I'll tell him I must die. I'll tell him he deserves to die. That's all you got to do. You got to say to die. The whole thing burning hell. The remix, Glass. Write it from the perspective of the girls that was getting peed on. They liked it. 
Oh Lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They never oh, came God, out and complained one time. Oh, my God. Dude, you got to do They never Kelly came mustard. out and complained one time. Do we not care this is the truth? They were trying they off. Complain. They complained. They have never complained. They did a whole doc Sparkle complaining. Sparkle got mad because he slept with her and the niece. Every girl Wait on the doc was a girl that R. Kelly messed with and was complaining. Aaliyah never complained. Neither did Regina and George Daniels complain Nobody about the fact that he was dating, um, dating their daughter. Like, I, mean, I don't so, understand the point y'all trying to make. The uh, point well, I was no, answering I'm not making. Oh, yeah, wait. You, oh, wait, 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 wait. Listen, so your my point, point is, no, you were answering my, my point. Is R. R. I want to answer Schultz's point yeah, because yeah, I want right, to make this clear. That, yeah, R. R. Kelly deserves to be in jail for the rest of his natural life. Make no mistake about no. that. No. I'm sorry, he does. No. He does. Because when you were, when you, no. listen, what I told Charlemagne three years ago also on the air was, because he was like, Charlemagne, Charlemagne was like, yeah, you know, he was like, not for the rest of his life. He was like, oh, yeah, definitely the rest of his life. No. Let me explain why. Can I explain why? All right, so Charlemagne said, you know, I thought it was cool. I, I was getting head. I said, yeah, but that's a physical response to stimuli. That is not consent. From the, so just because from your dick gets hard, me. right? Yeah. Just because your dick gets hard doesn't necessarily mean that you're consenting to that because you just know it feels good. You don't have the adult mind to understand what comes with Very it. Very true. So that's a problem, and the same thing definitely goes for R. Kelly. R. Kelly deserves to be where he is. My problem with I that agree is he deserves to be in jail. I, I, okay, my problem with that is not I mean, only does R. Kelly deserve to be in jail, Stephen Collins deserves to be in jail, um, the, uh, Phil Spector deserves to be in jail, uh, Woody Allen deserves to be in jail, uh, Morgan Freeman deserves to be in Morgan jail. Morgan Freeman? Yeah, oh, what, his step granddaughter? We just gonna gloss over his step granddaughter? We just gonna have this conversation? 2,000 years what old, you can't fuck your granddaughter when you're 2,000? What did Morgan Freeman do? Yo, he was a I thought he was he shooting was at white me. men, Tad. We are shooting at white but men, but I gotta be fair. Like, but equal protection you. under the law, no. equal prosecution what under I mean, the law. This nigga's wild. We gotta back, got back on the black guys. We gotta back on the black guys. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, not, no, not e Stephen Collins. Stephen Collins from Seventh Heaven, whose show has never been pulled out of syndication. While the Cosby show was pulled out of syndication only saved by TV One. So what I'm saying is Listen. if you decide to touch someone under the age of 18 yes. and you are over the age of 18, you have broken the law. Seinfeld, if you're broken the law, you go to jail. But Seinfeld was smart enough true. to do it in a state where it's legal. That's only in certain it's states. I'm listen, I'm not here for this. I'm like I, I understand the whole age of consent thing. Yeah. And I'm because with you what on makes that? 18 any different besides it, the way I was raised in California. The law is the law, though, bro. Um, like, now, see, now, see, now you're talking to outlaw. So let me tell you. What I, <laughs> First off, I, fuck I your bitch. No, listen, <laughs> no, oh no, really though, no. really though. No. No. That's my guy. That's what's so funny. People like yo, yo like that's, I, I I that's my, my favorite song. Tupac, I literally talked about. I live about my that life yesterday. by Tupac mantras. Like it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. But point I'm saying yo, to you right is, Glass, can I say one thing? How funny yeah. you are, bro. <laughs> because what makes 18 the right thing? He goes the law, but I'm an outlaw. You don't want to be an outlaw about the, the no, legal me. age. I'm going to take a no. Let me hear your point. Let me hear your point. You want to be a law abiding citizen. Let me hear your point. I do not want to be a law abiding citizen because I don't agree. But this is the thing, right? In the We're talking about pedophilia, G. <laughs> see, that's a that's not. See, pedophile is another overused word because people just like using it. Like it's ebophile. When somebody's a certain age, when they become a teenager after puberty, pedophiles are reserved for people before puberty. And it matters. The truth matters. You got the truth has to matter. So before I start calling this man a pedophile, you got to show me somebody that ain't had their puberty. Now, do he like bitches entirely too young? Yes. That is a problem that he literally... But another problem is girls liking him too young. His problem is not knowing to say no. So you deserve to, whatever prison time they got for you for breaking the statutory law. If a 14-year-old girl can convince you to have sex with her and you 40-something years old, he you can't deserve to go to right, jail. Bro. Yeah. He can't, it ain't like he playing with this whole intelligent piece. Let's just be honest. He can't read or write, but he's been to jail before for the same charge of fucking with an underage girl. You keep making the same mistake over but, and over, you're insane. But again, he fucks all the girls. I'm not saying he shouldn't go to jail. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. No, he fucks, he fucks all 14 the to 64. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen no woman with an AARP card hanging out of the R. Kelly concert. He don't care if the cognac is aged. He don't care if the cognac is fresh out five, the barrel. Five years, I'm fresh out the barrel. Bro, they don't care. Cancel out. It's not like you fuck one old. No, I'm, I'm just saying. Sense. Sense. Not, you just I'm just saying. Like, it's cumulative. No, 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 no. It's cumulative. No, sex. Because you, I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to misrepresent who. The, I get it that the mob got their pitchfork out. They got their torches. Just listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm not going to do that. If this man is fucking all the bitches, I'm not gonna make him like he just likes young bitches. Well, gee, listen, His problem is if, he likes all the. What bitches. if you're a, what if you're a guy who likes to fuck everybody? 
right? Yeah. I mean, I fuck guys, I fuck women, whatever. Would you call that man gay? Yes. All right, then. So you got to call R. Kelly a, a pedophile. pedophile. But a pedophile, again, by definition. That's a good point. Uh, is somebody who hasn't had a puberty. Well, he likes to fuck underage girls, and that's against the law. I agree. That's my point. I'm not, for one, saying R. Kelly should not have to deal with his... When I sell drugs, when I got in trouble for shooting at people, I went to jail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I respect the legal system. I'm not going to... Oh, I'm not one of them kind of black people. Oh, man, the system is against me. You was I doing made dirt. this choice. Yeah. I'm not right. the average person right, from right, my right, neighborhood. Right. R. Kelly is somebody that is a little messed up. He can't read or write. He's not the most, and I'm not making excuses. He got whatever prison sentence is coming to him. There's no way we should give him life. Nah, he should get life at No, point. no, he's, he's not. I'm going to tell you why. 30 years of doing this? Yeah. 30 years of doing this? Going and forging legal singing. documents to marry a 15-year-old? Yeah. Doing that, this? But, but again, again, 40 years Wait ago, that's minute. not crazy. Let me finish. 40 years ago that's not crazy <laughs> wow he put that motherfucker out <laughs> he no, used that motherfucker I, th- like a weapon. I, th- I think he should get life simply because no. simply because he never learned from any of his mistakes it not was never mention. a mistake he meant it the first time he did it and he kept doing it so he's okay. an idiot okay can we just take pedophilia let's take pedophilia let's off just the, get that word let's, let's yeah. take pedophilia off the that's table that's all I want when you're holding a woman against her will you're keeping her he's not holding nobody against that oh woman. bro listen I watched that whole special bro. that lady said did you it's the best part you should go look at it again and it was like she was talking about how bad it was and how yeah. the everything was going on and uh-huh. it's crazy. Uh-huh. And it was like, do, 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 the music. They had the score going. Yeah, she was like, I really just good. packed my stuff and went home. <laughs> it just stole all the thunder because I'm like, damn, he got these ladies kidnapped. This shit is crazy. And the do, 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 do. Yeah, and I was so upset. I had to ask him when to eat and use the bathroom. So eventually, I just packed my stuff and went home. Do you I think mean, that maybe he could have tightened up security afterwards and started he, putting down some he more He never uh, had to have security. His security is being fucking R. Kelly. It ain't a bitch breathing that wants to leave R. Kelly because it ain't a nigga better than R. Kelly. <laughs> not now. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, 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 not in this now. era. No, no, nah, not in this era. No, but we're not talking about this era. We're talking about right. R. Kelly. When R. Ke- F- first off, we're talking about Aaliyah. This is in the 90s. So we're talking about early 90s. That, yeah. that ain't that far low from when your grandfather married your grandmother entirely too young. It's not that far away. You can't look at yesterday's with today's eyes. It makes you fucked up. The, the reason you know he knew what he was doing was wrong is oh, because he, he, he snuck he to doing. do it. Yeah, he exactly. It's not like he was he out he in the was open, the like, law. this is Aaliyah, this is my girl, this is no, my wife. he knew he was breaking the law. Like, Tiger was ready to die for Kylie. No. In a real way. <laughs> in a real he way. He was out in public with it, like, this is mine, red shirt and a fatigue. <laughs> That's all life. That's a difference. You <laughs> well, know what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you a story of that. Tiger don't Dude, cuss you know Elvis apparently did that? Hold on, listen. Priscilla was 14. No, but he didn't fuck her until she was 16. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, sure. Son, son, she lived, She and there was like art details of her saying, I wanted it so bad, but he refused for like three years. Let her live in the, in the right, whatever so Y'all let Elvis use that excuse. We're going to let Michael and R. Kelly and everybody use that excuse too. I don't believe that shit. I'm Listen. still waiting on the evidence for Mike because uh, I don't believe the Michael shit. came back false. Now, what did Tiger, what happened? So the first time I realized what was going on, I, I went to a session for Tiger to grab something from him and Chris Brown. And they had a session going on. And I remember just walking in the studio and, you know, it was gangster niggas, a couple cool shit. They working on music. And it was these two looking little girls. You know, mind you, I ain't really a pop person. So they just look like little kids. And they laughing and giggling and shit. I'm like, who got these little sisters and who little sisters is these? I said that shit out loud and niggas looked at me. And I think but that's before I understood what was going on. That's the kind of joke that'll get you with some shit. Because I'm like, who little sisters is these? These little kids up in the studio, it's kind of late. I had a, bad, a bedtime joke and all kind of shit. Not knowing that this is a... Uh, Tiger's girlfriend. Tiger's girlfriend or a Kardashian. Surviving Tiger coming soon. Nah, that's, 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 that. That, that's what I just heard from Don't you. Do Don't do that. You just you just gave Lifetime do their next special. <laughs> nah, that girl loved that girl loved Tiger. What that got to do with anything? If she was underage, because yeah. underage, what love got to do with it? Nothing to do underage unless you're mental. Do, like for me, do. underage matters. My intellect allows. Un- like I can't date nobody under twenty two. Gee, it's the reason you walked in that studio and knew those girls was underage immediately. They that, look like, yeah, but, but you said they was giggling. But like you they, knew. It was something about yeah, them that, that you knew. My brain processes it okay. totally different. Like if I see a girl, don't hold up. Let me just. I'm oh. not above nothing. So let me tell the truth. Real rap. Now, nah, why I have never slept with a girl under 18 my whole life? I've seen a girl in Germany that was 16. That was probably the most built body bitch I ever seen in my life. This bitch was bad as a motherfucker at 16 and yeah. was trying to give me some pussy. And it took all the California nigga in me not to take it because she made sure I knew it was legal. 
and it just still felt wrong. Because that's what, and that's the thing. It's all to me. It's about what's in, what, what your morals feel like. We know that shit is wrong. There's no reason for a thirty something year old man, forty something year old man, to be sleeping with a 15, 16 year old girl. In my mind, I don't even. I, yo, when I see dudes that are forty something messing with twenty one year olds, I'm like, why? Yeah, I agree. Like, I, I got a 20-year-old like, daughter. It's, it's I think like, that's the most disgusting, ridiculous shit. Yeah, but see, I, I don't think you should be able to have a say because if you have a daughter, then I'm not going to judge all that just yet. Well, well, if I have a daughter, I shouldn't <laughs> have a say because it's all biased. Yes. Your body is. <laughs> Because yeah, you I'm probably would have asked somebody, I want somebody I'm biased. I went to school Hold on, hold up. I got three daughters. Exactly. In your 20s, 40, and you wouldn't sleep at 20 21, bro. 20, 21, when you 40 plus years old. Start getting crazy. That's wild. Wow. Huh? What, Hell where did yeah. the boat come from? Can you the just boat. on a boat? What are you talking Where's about? Where's the boat? Are you on a yacht? Listen, white people always want to talk about boats. Are you on a yacht? This happened. Where you going to find a 32-year-old like, girl on a boat? You bring her. He ain't gonna bring no 30 year old on a yacht, bro. You get a nice little 21 really to 25. Nah, bro. Hold <laughs> on. Really you out happen. here bringing 40 year olds on a boat, yes. bro? And what where's the boat? Fucking okay, okay, carnival cruises. Hold on. This is an admission happening. I'm glad you brought me back. What so, fucking boat are you talking about? What are them princes from the fucking Dubai's and shit, bro? If we're on a yacht, <laughs> we yo, got some dreams. Hey, you talking to some chick from Dubai? And you're like, yo, I got some I got some chicks for the boat. And he's like, oh, yeah, how old are they? And you're like, 38, 41, 36. Yeah, you is, you you're is not be invited the joke. no more, bro. Niggas is going to have jokes for you. You need, another, you need a nice 21 no, and 28 listen, by the way, tops. By the way, nobody asked that. Say what? If somebody said, yo, I'm bringing some girls on the boat, you'd be like, yeah, good looking. The only way you're going to ask that question is if Betty White comes on or if goddamn... <laughs> yeah, he might be right. They got to be some real or, old Or if uh, the little girl from... Um, and Betty White is come on. Like, you bring, like, what did you bring these little young-ass girls to this little old-ass woman? Is that you bring Shahidi? 40. Exactly. <laughs> you bring, I don't know I don't know if people going to feel like that at 40 if you bring some 21, 22-year-olds. Look, as a 41-year-old man, like, Intellectually, like, nah, you might be like, I'm not going to deal with him. But you is the man. Hell yeah. If you show up to a party with 40-year-old people and 21 year How old are you? But again, that's what you I wouldn't said. sleep like, with a twenty. Hold on, you wouldn't sleep with a twenty-two-year-old girl right now. No, because he have a daughter. I got a daughter that's twenty. It's, it's weird to me. Like I wouldn't do it either. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm I'm a faithful black man anyway. Black right, man, black don't man cheat. Don't cheat. Hypothetically but speaking, hypothetically, black men were being it. honest. No, what would you do? <laughs> You would not sleep with a 22-year-old smoke show of a woman right now just because you have a daughter she that has a and I have a wife that would kill me. Outside of this, this is a hype Hypothetical I, alternate hypothetical universe, alternate. I still got a wife that would kill me. You're not getting me caught up, Schultz. <laughs> Your white privilege protects you. Fuck that shit. This motherfucker got on goddamn Instagram talking about, yo, he only books black Airbnbs, it's Air R&B, and I fell the fuck out watching that shit. Yo, I swear to God. I'm like, I don't understand why people think Schultz is racist. This motherfucker's funny as shit. Like, I feel this motherfucker's the next Carlin. Like, real wet. Yo, that, yo, he said Air R and B, and it had the graphic look like Airbnb, but it was an R G. I swear to God, it was an R. Yo, I almost Where missed was the toy business. It was on Instagram. I my, uh, yo, this motherfucker's IGTV. I never saw you guys send me that. That's I only stay in black uh, Airbnb. So we call them Air R and B. Back in the stand up, I'm like, yo, I, I want to see this motherfucker. That's a video hey, you want to see. I feel like Taz no. versus Schultz needs to happen right now at a comedy club near you. Oh, that is like, too oh funny, my man. fucking god. Air R and B. He makes he makes the the Mexicans and all the black people uncomfortable. And I'll just make white people uncomfortable. We could we could we could take this on the road, bro. The Let's do it, is, man. The moral story is the moral story is R. Kelly does not deserve the die. rest of his life. Yes, he does. He's right back on the Cochrane <laughs> too, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, Yo, only, only I'm not defending. I, like. I've heard that before. People get so. I'm like, let's just Ain't stick 50, with the OG? facts. Any fifty? Yes. But, Can I ask you a real question? I'm, I'm but none begging of this, to ask. All this shit is on VHS. Tape. I'm begging so you to. Like I'm begging to ask you this. This is like the most years. important question 20. I've ever wanted to ask. Glasses Malone in my entire life. Sure. What about the people that was driving him to high school so he could post up? What about the people that was bringing these chicks to him so you that mean he, when he was like 28, 29? What about yeah. people that, that walked well, in the What about when he was 30 and, and 40 because they was doing it then? They wasn't doing it then. Bro, yes, they were. No, By see, their that, own admission, they the, were doing it. That's not the story. By their own admission, they were doing I'm it. I'm saying even then, they talked about this was before he was on. He stopped driving high schools after he got all the way on. But I'm going to tell you something. That this is a true Only thing. Only Glasses Malone would defend R. Kelly I'm not defending R. Kelly. Only Glasses Malone. I'm not defending Right now, he's defending his crew. There's a difference. He's not defending I'm not R. Kelly, defending right now. R. Kelly ever. What are you his defending? Crew. Then? He's defending what I'm his saying crew right is, now. can we keep things in perspective so we can give issue out real and fair justice, not emotional justice? That's all I'm saying. He peed on a 13 year old girl, and she loved it, and he should go to jail <laughs> for it. Son, this guy's crazy. No, <laughs> and he should go to jail for it. And he should go. Listen, what I'm saying, Queen, like dude, he should bro. go to jail I just came for it. To talk about business, but let's like, make I... sure we understand that this girl, his problem is not knowing to say. 
know I'm not going to pee on her. And by not way, we don't treat know him what, like he kidnapped her and peed on her. By the way, because that's how we're treating. We don't know him. what's on them other tapes too. It's like 20, 30 other tapes. First of all, how was he them. holding the tapes for so long? That's retarded. What you mean? That's because like, they Nas held the lost tapes for a good reason. I don't wrong. understand why this guy is holding <laughs> these Kelly's lost tapes. VHS. Crazy. He came in with like fifteen and it's like crates, VHS cassettes. Like crates. It's but this the thing, and just like that, like I'm just I don't want to paint him. In an unfair light, I want to get justice. Should be sorry for the people that there's no victims. Glasses, you ain't that good of an artist, bro. Like I, no I, I know you can write and you can rap. There's nothing there's you can no do to victims. write R. Kelly in a fair light. At this point, there's <laughs> no, you're nothing. Right. You're right. That's true. Like, nothing. That's true. But I, but I can't help it that it's it's burning in me to be fair. And that's why people think I'm a contrarian. I don't think I'm there's not. anything unfair happening to him. It is. It's, what's unfair is that we're right now as a society saying he should go to jail, right? He broke the law. So I get it, right? We need justice for him violating the statutory laws. But let's keep it certain. He's not a pedophile. We don't got to call him that. I so get I don't, it. I don't know. What, is he, what, what do you call that? What's it's an abophile. A uh, Ebophile? Ebophile. Yeah. Damn, huh? That's Ebophilia. Damn. Ebophilia. I never heard that. Term. I, I know, right? I, I had Damn, to read glasses? it. No, so Ebophilia is what? what it's glasses Ebophilia. for real. It's, when, it's, 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 it's post puberty. <laughs> Okay, but I'm saying it matters. It matters because how we view pedophiles. We're thinking of pedophiles. We're comparing somebody sleeping with a five year old, a three year old, a seven. Those fit those narratives, not some little, a fast teenager. Are now, are there disgusting? laws in the books against epiphilia? Gotta be. No, there's law. No, listen. That's why the legal age laws. is 18. That's why I keep saying, no, it's not. That's only in different states. Different states, but I mean, I think the lowest might be 16. But yeah. the point is, that's my point. But we all have been brainwashed in certain places, like me. Where it's 18. I will not look at a girl under 18 because of these laws. No, I think it's but your in morals. Nevada, you said you was in Germany. No, but that's because I have been raised woman. my whole life to believe the age was 18. I think your morals kick in and you realize this is wrong. There's no I reason for so. you I as a so. grown man who's intelligent that's that's able to make I good agree. decisions. So, sure, a girl, do that's like, like a girl that. 20. She can't talk to me. Like, but but I also like I read every day. Um, shit, my. My IQ is crazy. I'm, I'm smart. So I probably would want to talk to someone. But if I can't read or write like R. Kelly, I don't know what kind of girl he going to feel superior. I don't think that's not an excuse. I don't think that's an excuse. There's plenty well, of it's not, it's no excuse, here. But it's no excuse. I'm saying it's no excuse. R. Kelly broke the law. He should go to whatever the proper punishment is. But let's keep it within the realm of proper punishment. Let's not go out the out the. I don't think he hasn't been punished yet. So I think he get. I think whatever he gets for thirty years of edophilia, he deserves. <laughs> and whatever. Like, he, long as we're saying what he's getting, and 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 the fact that he was flaunting in people's faces, man, you writing songs okay, about can we it. Just break this you, down. You married a fifteen year old and wrote a song for her called AJ. Nothing but a number. To say all the bad things. So let's just talk about sure. this for a minute. When you look at the Pied Piper, the reason that the Pied Piper is such a a, a sticky term is because when the Pied Piper didn't get his check, he came in and took all their children, and they were never seen or heard from. Wait, wait. He let him from they the village took with music. all the children, and they were never seen or heard from again. And he, he let them out of the village with music. I'm not listening. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I am not saying, Wait a minute. just listen, OG. I am not I saying, right, that he does not. I am. I agree. Justice should be served. Right. But let's keep it within the realm of justice. That I'm not disagreeing with. What I'm saying is he keeps th like my whole thing is don't throw Marvel Cinematic Universe Easter eggs at society and think that it's cool. That's right. And that's my point. So, like I said, the Pie Piper is one. Then, um, what was the other one? Oh, the Chocolate Factory album. Willy Wonka, somebody who spent his entire career <laughs> enticing is. children to come to his Chocolate Factory. And then who's he surrounded by? A bunch of childlike creatures called Oompa Loompas. And, and then he children. gave him all type of drugs. He blew him up. He sent one packing. He, he put one through a, a blender or some shit. Like, Willy Wonka was a sick fuck. You know what I mean? Like, he keeps giving you reasons. It's like a, 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 no, a, a nah, serial killer that's, that's who wants best, to get caught. That is the best point I've heard about this and I never thought about oh, it. Oh, that he throws yeah, it up those are called face? Easter eggs. No, like, because I... They it, do it in Captain America. I, I don't Arkelly's give him credit for being for that smart. Gee, I've told you that a million times. Yeah, I never Aaliyah, thought about He married Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Aaliyah was what, 15? 15. Yeah. He wrote it. Her first single was called Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. I'll do you one better because you missed something. When he did that song Vibe, at the end of Vibe, he starts shouting out all these people who have that vibe, meaning they can catch it. And Aaliyah was about 12, 13 years old then, and he says Aaliyah's got that vibe. Lord if I'm mercy. lying, I'll send you to Thailand. Let's run these receipts. How like, old did the girl? How old can you think. sleep with? How old did the girls have to be to sleep with him in Thailand? Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I didn't participate in that. I'm a married man. But I agree. <laughs> he should. I agree. Justice should be served. I just don't want to treat him like a rapist. He is though. He's not. Though. He's a form of a rapist. There's I, I, levels to rape. He's a he's a form of a rapist. Is date rape rape in your mind? 
Yes. Okay. That's a, and what he was doing was a form of rape. That's why if, if someone if someone has if someone has mental deficiencies, sure, and they get uh, they get uh, taken advantage of by someone who's older who has their um, faculties, is that rape in your mind? Sure. Okay, so if someone is more mature, has means, motive, and mature. opportunity, yeah, as far as it. age goes, I'm sorry, the man is a genius. He might not be able to read right, but he's a genius, and he knew good and hell well what he was doing. Absolutely. If That's fact, why I do agree. If, in fact, someone who has that has everything that you like. I mean, even some more did a joke about getting young boys, and she would sit up there and say, I got that Madden 2000. I got that Madden. I sit, out to, I sit outside the uh, Chuck E. Cheese talking about I got that Madden 2000. You see what I'm saying? If you know how to entice, my point is, real quick, my point is, if you know how to entice somebody, and you create an environment absolutely. where it's comfortable, it might not feel like we rape. We created the environment. Yeah, no. we did. Absolutely, R. Kelly we did. Would lie to, R. But Kelly we, would allowed, tell, we allowed him to do that and we allowed him to create an environment that enticed those young girls to come in. And he would tell I, women, I don't, I don't, and he would tell women, I'll give you a record deal, yep. I'll put you on. Like yes, that's, he did. Yes, yes I'm he not, did. Again, I'm not, I'm not, and the I'm record not label. I talked to the record label in 2000, no, listen, whatever but, but, it was. But I'm saying, I'm not disagreeing that he is not wrong of crimes. Right, right. Like he deserves yes. to be punished for. Cr- I can't say that as a criminal, but he's a he criminal. got what he got coming to him. Just yeah, like I can have what right. I got coming for him. Feel me? But I don't like how our society is treating. He's not a rapist. It's a real serious he's word. A rapist. And and by definition, he's, he's definitely not a, a rapist. G. He's definitely I, I, he's a he's not he's not a rapist like I'll hold you down. Not, dude, that's you a up, real rapist. Then, no rapist. A like, day rape. If I mentally fuck with your mind, if I physically hold you down, R. Kelly took advantage of his his and celebrity. That's, and that's yes. all it's about taking advantage of people. No, he took advantage taking of taking away people's power of choice. But but he didn't take away nobody. He power definitely choice. did. No, because they're not old enough to choose. That that but that's the point. They're not old enough legal, to make a good choice by a legal standard. And I agree. I agree even on a mental. I don't think girls could be shit. Personally, girls should not be able to choose sex till they probably 21 because they're going to blame you for everything that happened in their life. If you fuck with them and it don't work out and everything happened, it's going to be your fault. That's something I learned about women. Until 21? 21 is when they first start realizing like, all right, niggas ain't shit. <laughs> no, they learned that no, much they earlier than twenty one. No, their mamas they learned that. <laughs> Back Listen, in the day, look, when you, I have your juice box and your lunchables yeah. ready, yeah. they didn't learn that at first. Shit. Remember, you that, had to Stacey. go through a little something to get some pussy. I, I, back agree, then. I agree with that because it was a it was a yeah, period campaign. just yeah. a little. When you was in high school, you had to go through something to get some pussy. Yeah, you could get over on girls crazy. But now it's different today. Everybody looking to fuck, and that's my problem with R. Kelly. R. Kelly been making this perverted ass music, and I call it perverted this whole time. We've played it. We supported it. We played it. We act like it was cool. We did it all. And when little girls started liking him and a little Johnny started to tickle at that age, he didn't know when to say no. And he should go to. Here's the thing. That's that's. So you say he needs to go to rehab? Here's the thing. No. Let's be clear clear about somebody like R. Kelly. R. Kelly was fucking underage girls before he was a star. Sure. So like, let's not go blame it on his music and little girls liking him. That's what he does. He's got some type, something, some type of tickle. Sure, something wrong with him. Where he likes young girls. And that's my point. But I also, like I said, I just want to be clear on what's really going on. Again, don't get under these comments and be like, man, G just defending a pet. I'm not. I'm telling you, he's not a pedophile by definition. By definition. So let's not compare him to somebody sleeping with a three-year-old because it's a little different when somebody goes through their menstrual cycle. When they start and they start looking towards God. Let me ask you this. If you had to write a record yeah. called R. Kelly Must Die and it was from the perspective of one of those young girls, how what, what would what would you what would it Spit be? Spit these bars, G. What would the empathy be? What would your angle be? It would be hard because I know that they want to give him vagina. Well, no, I'm gonna tell you why. Still talking about this. I I really came up here to talk about business. I took a whole. And it's only about the damn Taz versus show story. One second, but (laughs) these, these women are older now. And they they know that they were taken advantage of when they were younger. Do that's they what, really? Yes, know? that's why they're doing the surviving R. Kelly. Yeah, but that doc. was only one girl underage no. in that whole doc. <laughs> right now with Sparkle Jr. And again, don't take this personal like you are, but Sparkle Jr. That was the best thing that ever happened to her life to this point. The huh. girl that got peed on. Yes, huh. we don't know what she became. In she life. became a Chappelle skit. Somebody else pissing on her that ain't R. Kelly. Lord have mercy. Let's pay some bills. Glasses Malone, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just saying. <laughs> a whole lot of... My God. HBO's no. newest comedy yeah, is a pee. black lady sketch show. No, seriously, show. I'm going to pee. <laughs> well, I'm going to pee. <laughs> he got to get this out of his system, bro. He got to purge himself. Gotta HBO's newest comedy is a black lady sketch show written... 
directed and starring black ladies. A black lady sketch show, the name of it is A Black Lady Sketch Show, is a groundbreaking new comedy series starring a core of black female women. I have to say that female women, okay? No, it's a black female cast and celebrity guest portraying dozens of dynamic characters and hyper versions of themselves in a magical reality. This hilarious series is not afraid to go there and explore culturally relevant themes, including social norms, anxiety, religion, sex, dating, and relationships. When a black lady sketch show debuts, it will feature numerous firsts, the first all black women's writers room, the first black women's sketch show director, and the first sketch series cast comp. Uh, comprised entirely of black women. A horror movie about dry skin and aliens stealing dance moves, a viral proposal going wrong, and an invisible spy are just a few drop-dead funny sketches set to debut in season one, starring Robin Thede, Quinta Brunson, Ashley Nicole Black, and Gab and Gabrielle Dennis, and guest starring Issa Rae, Angela Bassett, Laverne Cox, and many more. A Black Lady Sketch Show airs this Friday night at 11 p.m. only on HB. Oh, I want to salute my people at Audible. Uh, you know I love Audible books. I just got into Audible books. You know what made me get into Audible books? Podcasts. Because I'm like, I never used to want to listen to Audible books because I felt like I just wanted to read and, you know, I like mm-hmm. touching the paper and yep. I like the feel of a book. And I still do. Mm-hmm. But I want to get through a lot of books fast so I end up using Audible, okay? Mm-hmm. Listening makes us smarter, more connected to people, okay? It makes us better partners, parents, and leaders. And there's no better place to start listening than Audible. Audible is where so many inspiring voices and compelling stories open listeners up to new experience and ways of thinking. Audible members now get more than ever before. Members choose three titles every month. One audio book plus two Audible originals that you can't hear anywhere else, all right? Members also have unlimited access to more than 100 audio-guided fitness and meditation programs and audible delivers bestsellers like black privilege okay comes to those who create it okay actually won an award from audible Mm -hmm. uh the year that book came out i forgot what the award was but thank you uh business self-improvement memoirs and more all professionally narrated by actors authors and motivational superstars like rachel hollis david goggins and mel robbins for all you marianne williamson lovers okay you can go get Healing of America, too. That's her book. Came out in 97. Audible members can also get free access to the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Washington Post delivered daily to the Audible app. All right? With the convenient app, you can listen to Audible books anytime at the gym, while commuting, on the go, and on any device. And it'll always pick up right where you left off. Okay? Why spend a week or two reading a book when you can get through a book in seven hours with Audible, man? Audible also offers free and easy audiobook exchanges, credits you can roll over for a year, and a library you keep forever, even if you cancel. Explore all the ways listening on Audible can help improve your mind, body, and soul with entertainment, information, and inspiration. Okay, start listening with a 30-day Audible trial and your first audiobook plus two Audible originals are free. Visit audible.com slash idiots or text idiots to 500-500. That's audible.com slash idiots or text idiots at 500-500. Makes me think of a, uh, an interesting conversation that's happening right now. Insert yeah. the quote. Matter of fact, I'm, and I'm going to read the quote, but we're going to insert it. But it's important. You want to read it? Or uh, I'll just talk about it until you get I it. I want to read it because I don't know if they read it yet. Because it's because I don't want to explain it wrong. Okay. Hold on. Basically, and as you get it up, basically they're having a conversation about parents um, letting their kids decide what gender they are at, you know, let's say the age three and then starting to give them Can hormones. You, it? you got it. You got it? He said, look. Look, I'm never one to tell anyone how to parent their kids, obviously. You know, and I always say, if you come from a place of love, you, you know, you, you really can't go wrong. But at the same time, my God, if you're three years old and you're saying you're feeling a certain way or you're, 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 you think you're a boy or a girl, whatever the case may be, I th- just think it's dangerous as a parent to make that determination then, okay, well, then you're going to be a boy or a girl, whatever the case may be. And it's it's sort of alarming. And my gosh, I just think about the repercussions later on. If that isn't I don't the know most said reasonable fucking reaction. I don't know what he said wrong. I'm telling you, this we live so in a world absurd. where it's like that. It is so absurd that, and, and this is what it really comes down to, is... The parents are doing this for the kids. I really, truly think on some level, and they might not be aware of it, but they're doing it because they want to showcase how progressive they are as people. And they're not even considering what it might do to the kid. At three years old, a kid does not know what the fuck he wants. There's nothing we let a three-year-old do without adult supervision supervision and adult consent. At three, I make the decisions for my child. At three, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? You might let him eat. What do you want to eat? 
But I want I, candy. No, you can have broccoli. My my little my, my <laughs> little. I want a dick. No. <laughs> what? You can have candy vagina. is equal. And this, oh this crazy candy, candy is equal three. dicks. <laughs> that, and that's that's my point. Wait, what, what? That candy it's, equals dicks? No, hell no. <laughs> what? The new no, name of the show: that. Candy what? equals dicks. What? what? No. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what? No. The fuck? Just, I just came in here to talk about business. That was just a little. I don't know. I don't even know what's going on. It's serious. Like, and then is that three? Like, when does this shit? Stop! Like sometimes somebody got to be reasonable. No, Yo, I agree. It is. I think it's absolutely. And, and by the way, and somebody cussing him shit. out right now, probably like you can't say oh. that. Somebody's three. They know who they are. This is what it feels no. like every time you Talk. think no. about Chad what we thought we were at three years old. Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles. I mean, we thought we were all these things at three years Some old. Heavy shit at three, bro. Yeah. So that, you have to let a parent make certain decisions for a kid for their well being until they mature. Until they mature. And, and all the headlines are fucked up. Oh, like NBC News, Mario Lopez says it's dangerous for parents. To support transgender kids, Come he on, didn't dude, say that. He, Come he on, did not dude. say that. He never said anything of this sort. He didn't say that. By the way, if your kid comes to you at three and the kid goes, if it's a little boy, and like, hey, I, I really, I'm a, I'm a girl. Uh, if a kid comes to you a girl and says, hey, I'm a boy. All right. I'm, I, what I'm supposed to, I don't even know. See, they're three. Yo. What am I supposed to say to them? Son, I'm not going to discourage them. It's going to be like. All right, good. Hey, Keep yeah, doing that. We'll yeah. see how What's you feel up? next yeah. year. Let's, play, let's watch some. Let's play some. Watch, watch uh, SpongeBob. So I don't yeah, know. I'll like, tell you, y'all. That's what the, does that even mean to be a girl at three? World. What are you doing at three as a girl? You're doing the same shit as a dude does. Exactly. Wearing a dress. It's an absurd. No, it's an absurd real. idea. Yeah. Even dresses are an absurd idea. Dresses. Is, it's a social construct, right? It's like you go to certain parts of the world. There is no difference in the way they dress. Go to a yeah, poor community. Yeah. You're wearing what you have, right? So this is this is like an absurd. It's an absurd notion that we're like breaking the shit up and then. To criticize a guy and call for his job when he's saying the most reasonable, reasonable thing fucking thing. You can say like, under the circumstances. Dude, I think it's child abuse if you're pumping your three-year-old kid full of hormones now to switch crazy. their gender. Now that's, my, that's, now that's my thing. Now anybody that's going to that going that far. But a three-year-old, Come that's, on, that's, 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 that's wild. Get a kid some time. You know what I'm saying? I got a three-year-old at home. Right, so this is perfect. Very aware, she's very aware. Like she'll be, she'll say things. To me, I don't like boys, but she's she'll be talking about me. Right. You know what I'm saying? If right. I try to kiss, I don't like boys. It's that. All right, cool. I don't. Yeah. I'm not gonna say, oh yes, yes, you gotta like boys. Yeah, yeah. Just, that was her thing. She's she, three. That, that's her opinion. Yeah. But you like let her do three. that. It's not like you go, okay, she's a lesbian. Let me put her in softball. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah. softball is lesbian. <laughs> the, listen, you know what I'm saying? You don't let me let her watch that. set it off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, get your Which one of these do you identify with on the screen? I like the queen. <laughs> like she's three, right? Yo, it's right. It, you have to. It's it's an absurd thing that we're doing, and it just goes back to what we were talking about earlier. People just need some sort of purpose. They need some sort of distraction. Like if you're leaning into that and then criticizing the people that are being most rational. Like, but I also wonder how many people actually heard what he said, as opposed to read the headlines that's and not, saw not, what everybody else society. was saying. It's easy. If you actually heard what he said, there's no it's, way you could be mad at that. And and some of them are, dude. Some of them listen to the whole interview. I agree with you a thousand percent. But some of them watch the whole interview. It's only three minutes. That little clip's three minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you have to watch this big thing. They watch it and they were still upset because they so vehemently believe that you should be able to switch a kid's gender at that age. And but it's that's like that's what I'm saying. That's that's what happened Doug, when Drake and J. Cole bro. leads in gangster rap. Doug, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is crazy. Is this, this might be crazy, but like Are you saying I don't a trans gangster? No, I'm just. Oh my god! Why not? Hold on. New hold name on. of the episode: Trans Gangster. Just, Why not? But just, just back to it's like on some level, it's like you know that there are these people that like they're putting like makeup and shit on their young kids. They're letting their young kids wear makeup. Like that's weird to me, that's dude. That's weird. Like Yo. why are you sexualizing a fucking child, man? It's just odd. You got a ten year old. You're letting a ten year old wear fucking heels and makeup. What world do we live in where a ten year old? <laughs> I think ten year wear heels. For not what? Su not super high heels. Put some like fucking heels on. Yeah, little kitten heels. Kitten heels is okay. That's why they're kittens. Yo, can, can I tell you something? I've never yeah. said this ever before. Heels are for cats. <laughs> no. <laughs> not kitten heels. No. <laughs> when I, listen, when I was five years old, right? I was four going on five. I was in kindergarten. Don't tell me you wore heels, bro. Yo, come on. <laughs> so there was this. Listen, hear me out. This is important. Nah, we, we won't let you know. What heels made? All right, no, first of all, first of all, <laughs> right? There was a Halloween. There was a Halloween. A con there, was, there was a, there was a Halloween. Con there was a Halloween contest at my elementary school, and the prize was that uh, Castle Gray Skull for He Man. Yes. So oh, okay. my mom and my aunt okay. got together. Like, oh, we gonna win this shit. Okay. So they sat up there and they 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 sewed up uh, a costume. It was a dress, and they turned me to strawberry shortcake. I fooled. Everybody, did you win? 
Yeah, I won that shit. Okay. Yeah. No, all day. Castle Grey Skull all Strawberry day. Strawberry shortcake is cool, though. Yeah, strawberry shortcake is cool, but the thing of it was, like, it did not make me want to be a person wearing, I never wore a dress again. You might not have gotten enough let compliments me, in that dress either, though, Ted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fooled the entire school. The teacher <laughs> no, but, didn't even but, recognize me. But when they're saying you look good, though, if they were like, yo, you look good in that dress, you probably would have wanted to wear more dresses. I was told I was a beautiful I, little girl for a boy. That's what I'm saying. I got that. For a boy, I, I, though. That's like, like for a boy, like why can't I just be? That's why can't I, mean. I just be a, a person just in a too? dress, being Yo. black strawberry shortcake, I black, got, with the strawberry freckles and all? Like talk, when I used to get my eye, listen, when shortcake. I used to get my eyebrows arched, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when I was like, in, when I was, I was like early twenties. Yeah. Got them arched for a, a woman. A woman yeah. gasped me up. You would look so good with arched eyebrows. You know who arches their eyebrows? Tupac arches his eyebrows. I'm like, for Wait, real? What? Yeah, she's yeah, showing yeah. me. I'm like, Tupac arches his eyebrows? And Wolf It's a lot no, no, of No, no, no. I'm going to tell you, so I went to the barbershop. People have a lot of weird, like, but you know, you got to think, that's fresh hold off hold the print hold 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 I want to hear this story. I want to hear this story. I'm Go, 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 go. You know, you do this for a But so I went to the barbershop Told Bob, arch my eyebrows. My Bob was like, arch your fucking eyebrows. I'm like, yeah, arch my eyebrows. I'm like, you want, you want your eyebrows arch? I'm like, yeah. So I had them thin ass eyebrows, right? Some thin ass little fucking arch shit. I wore them shit for like two months. You know why? Because girls was telling me I look good in that shit. Because oh, girls? Like, your eyebrows like look girls. better than mine. Yeah. Listen, like if eyebrows. women all got together tomorrow and said, listen, we about pirate motifs. You see so many dudes chopping off their legs and getting a pair. That's As what I'm saying. Should. Men do what gets them laid. Like, 100%. All the time. That's why we wear skinny jeans and baggy jeans, whatever jeans we, we see. Not we. Some of us. <laughs> I see what you're saying about the no Prince era, though. That's on the real. Because Prince, Rick James, all of those guys were. They changed the game. They were gender fluid, if you're really being honest. Yeah, yeah. They, they were original for that. Yeah, and we'll take your check in a, in a, in a heartbeat. Like, in a heartbeat, Rick yeah. James was smashing them, boy. Rick, was Rick James was the real. MVP. So that's my point. That's that's what I've been saying. Can this I whole ask time. you about certain things and see if you believe in them or like what your take is? Sure. Okay, dinosaurs. <laughs> what? Why not? Yes. Yeah. Hundred percent down. I mean, it's something that I really ain't did enough research, so I would have to be yeah, vaguely sure. I seen enough movies. <laughs> Yo, this man's a lawyer. <laughs> I'm just saying I can't like right. Yeah, I never researched it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just saying Yo, we gotta have him back in the month. Yeah, after it's crazy. No, it's, it's crazy. People, I want to hear this. I've shit. had this conversation with people about dinosaurs, and it's wild to me that people don't agree with dinosaurs. You like, drive a car that operates off of fossil fuels. What the fuck? Go to Cabo and watch the whales in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> you like watch them Whoa, big where ass does this rich Negro shit, shit come from? You, yeah, that shit? Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, and why, you can see that and not believe in the dinosaur? What, what makes so crazy to believe in What about dinosaur? UFOs? Yeah, it's aliens for sure, yeah. 100%. Yeah, not even thought. You guys all believe aliens? 100%. How can you not? It's all this like, space. You look at the way humanity, we go, from, we go from caves to carts to horses to cars to microwaves to cell phones. A, a computer in the 50s took like 10 people to carry. Now it's more in this than it was in the daggone moon landing. Whether or not the moon landing happens is a whole other that conversation. You don't believe in moon landing. That didn't happen. I'm questioning the moon landing now. I think you did older. That didn't happen. I, I think we landed. I think that it's possible they recreated the video because they didn't have a video that was good. But I do think they went up there. They didn't do it because they went back. Well, not they, once they you went, go and nothing's there. Of times, no, they, they haven't went back. They've been sending stuff, but they haven't went back. They haven't sent another person back. Yeah, I mean, they they have videos of 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 uh, the moon now, like roving videos that they yeah, but they got satellites that's that's that that are closer. That, no, that didn't happen, not at all. One hundred percent, that didn't happen. They didn't <laughs> land on the moon. No, I would like to know what happens if you used to stay there, like if you just stand there when it's like setting and rising and shit. What the the moon? Yeah. Wait, like, what What do you mean? Oh, it doesn't go down. It just rotates. The Earth rotates. The Earth rotates. Yeah, my man. The Earth is It's like, like an elevator. Oh, wow. It's like an elevator. 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 It's I swear Basement. I came on here to talk about business. <laughs> oh, man. Sure. No, the, the moon landing didn't happen, though. The moon landing didn't happen. I, I question the moon landing. That's too. fluff. Oh, that's fluff. That's I know, it? Bro. That's fluff. Bro, no, that was, I don't no know. That thing, like, I thought we were going to get something big with dinosaurs, bro. I really <laughs> thought. I thought he was going to be like, well, that's what Mexicans like, used like, to look like before. Malone got too much sense to be a flat earther. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, that I don't even. You a flat earther? No. No. Oh. I said he's got too much sense. See, why are you when trying you to start being a plane? Oh, you're not going to get shot. That, that kind of debunks that for me. Because it takes longer to get here than it does to. It takes longer to go home than it does to get here. Yes. That's for sure yeah, a so telling sign. So, so we all agree Mario Lopez wasn't wrong. 
Dude, yeah. not at all. And if you disagree with him, can you just have a civil conversation with him? <sighs> but can you have can you sit down and school him as to why maybe a three year old is able to determine what their gender identity is? Can you instead of just canceling him and all kind of we want Slate Saved by the Bell pulled out of syndication? Like Wait, what? No, yeah. no, 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 that's not going to. What do, what do those parents say to their kid when their kid goes, "I don't want to go to school." Do they just go, oh, I guess you don't go to school? Yeah. Like, at what point do you stop listening to your kid? Because it's for your kid's benefit. Because clearly you're going to make decisions for your kid for the next, until they're 18 years old. I told my daughter this morning, my daughter's 11 years old. She was at camp. Um, they did a test for deep deep swimming, deep water swimming. Yeah. Um, she didn't pass the test, even though she can't swim in deep water, but she didn't pass the test. So they was like, okay, you got to wear a life jacket. She's defiant. She's like, I'm not wearing no life jacket. If I can't swim without a life jacket, I ain't swimming. Okay, cool. But guess what? I tried to explain to her this morning. You made a choice. You made a decision. And it wasn't a good decision. And the reason it wasn't a good decision because you wanted to get in the water without a life jacket when there are adults there that are your counselors who are saying, no, you need a life jacket because we don't want anything to happen to you. Right. So they made a good decision for her mm -hmm. based off what they saw because mm -hmm. she's only 11 and not capable of making all the best choices yet. So imagine a three-year-old. Oh, like, bro, can you believe we're having this conversation? No, I can't. What I has really happened can't. to America I really can't. where the adults have to... I want everybody to look at it from this perspective. People fear what they don't understand. Right. So he like, does not understand I have understand a real it. fear of pedophiles. Like, that, like, that I, I is see, weird as shit to me. I see me. that. Right. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm really specific back to that about who we call one. Like, let's... Because I can't turn that off. Like, I can't... You know, I don't have that hate, but I am so confused as to what's going on and I don't like feeling confused like like I'm very like I've never said I dislike Tupac I never said I hate Tupac I never said you definitely got Tupac disrespect Kobe, I have no Tupac Tupac is fucking awesome I get around is top five awesome songs of all rap songs without a doubt feel me I have no but I that don't mean I can't understand other people's situation involving this person that don't mean that as far as basketball, LeBron James, if you're critical over LeBron James, oh, you hate LeBron, you're, you're a hater. It's like, no, I think Larry Bird is better right now. He has to prove he's better. Oh, no, you don't hate him. It's just because he... It's simple. I'm giving you words. I'm not You don't think LeBron better than Larry Bird? No. No. I think he got Bird. Bro, he got Bird. He got yeah. Bird. I think he got Bird. Bro. He got Bird. Right. He don't got Jordan yet. He ain't got Jordan. He don't even, got Kobe. He's not even... He's not a shooting guard. He's not any... Why is he better than Larry Bird? And what is he better than Larry Bird at? He's more athletic than Bird. That's a, that's not a real a talent. Passer. That's a gift. And Bird was a great passer. He's a better passer. Bird was a great passer, though. They, I, that's it. That's I just think Bron's better. Bron's, Bron's a better more player. Dominant. And yeah. I think how I think is he more, more dominant? dominant? He's been in the league for 17 years and only won three titles. How many titles won three? Got? Yeah. Without 17 years of health. 13. Uh -oh. Oh, that, oh, no, Bird had, what, 10 years I mean, you do have to adjust no, for supplements and, and the time and strength so, and conditioning. So my point is, the... if you have 17 available years, you can't get four titles. I don't judge basketball like everybody else. I'd never compare LeBron James to Michael Jordan. They play shooting guard, small forward, not to Magic. It's a point guard, not to Tim Duncan. That's a power forward. I, I, you I only think, have to be more accomplished and more winning than Larry Bird. I'll give it up to LeBron. He's the greatest small forward of all time. I don't know how. He is. He's better than Pippen. He's better than the Pippen and Bird are the two well, best. Well, he passed me. Pippen for sure, so he's still a <laughs> tight I, I, I think he's past Bird. I think he's a I'm better— I'm asking you why. I, I think he's a better scorer. I think that he's a better and score. He's not a better shooter, but I think he's, well, he's a better not a better scorer because he, he doesn't have more ways to score the ball than Larry. No, Bird. but he can get buckets. Isn't it just put the ball? In it's the just hole put the ball in the hole. I think I, he's that's a my better. Point. So you don't think LeBron got more ways to score than Bird? No, he's a better rebounder. Larry Bird is a, a doubt. more diverse scorer. Bird didn't have a million moves. Look, 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 look. He had a million moves, a better jump shot, and could finish just as well. No, no, stop, 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 stop. LeBron is a better finisher. He's a better defender. He's a better passer. He's a better rebounder. He's uh he's a better he's rebounder, a better for, rebounder sure. for sure. For sure. For sure a better rebounder. He's never averaged ten rebounds. Larry Bird has averaged ten rebounds, probably five or six seasons. Let's look now, at let's look at statistics. Let's look at statistics. I never looked at What is up. going on? I just think LeBron's better because I got eyes. No, you think LeBron's better because <laughs> wow. he can jump high I mean, and run I mean, fast. I just think he's better than Bird. No, you and Bird he, is a beast. No, you think he's better because he could jump higher and run faster. But that's the problem. That does not make you great at basketball. It just means you run high. LeBron run James fast, got he got Carl Malone body with like Scottie Pippen skills. Where is the fucking rings? You got three. I mean, listen. They I, both have three rings. They both That's got three. That's the problem. I mean, you got to pass this man. Larry has 13 me. seasons. LeBron has 16 so far. No, unhealthy. LeBron has been healthy 16 Larry's seasons. Last, Larry's last 
three two years. Two real bad. Two or LeBron three had bad. 13 playoffs, playoff appearances. Bird had 12 in his 13. How many finals? So um, 15 All-Star final games goes to LeBron versus Larry's 12. Four, four MVP season MVP goes to LeBron. Uh, LeBron is a three-time finals MVP versus Larry Bird at two. LeBron has 12 uh, NBA uh, All-Star he killed, first killed him as that. You know what I mean? Like, when you talk numbers, if we're just talking numbers and but, not emotional but, and fan, no, but listen, LeBron is murdering him. But, you, but that's only, but I'm going to tell you why. So now if we're you ca- throw if the you're numbers? counting 16, no. I'm saying if you're counting 16 years, Larry Bird has never not made the playoffs. Ever. Ever. Um, that's not true because his first year in the league, uh, he, his first the year the league he did not make the playoffs. Yes, he, he did. Had, no, he didn't. No, he Here's didn't. the stats. He was in college his first year in the playoffs. He made the playoffs the first huh? year. <laughs> that, he was, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so let me tell you how it worked. Wait, well, what? I said, oh. no joke. I said he was in college, college his first, first year in the playoffs. He got drafted and had to go back to college. See, nobody knows this happened. See, this is this a bar for you niggas. He got he drafted. Back to college. Listen, he, he got drafted one and went back to college. People didn't know that that used to happen. Larry Bird took the Celtics Bird from the played 13 seasons in the league Yes right But he, but he only, only went to He went to playoffs 12. 12 times Listen what I'm saying That was his last year But let me to get, let me get no, to the No he point. went to the playoffs His last year I remember that game he, His he lost first to the, year He lost to the Pistons listen, I think his last his year His first year in the NBA He won 61 games He took the Celtics He was the only change From 29 wins to 61 wins Verify that Larry Bird is a fan Fantastic small forward. No one's his that. T- no, listen. No, he's top no, three. His time in the NBA, mm-hmm. right? He maximizes his time more than LeBron James. Can I ask? As a me? winning player, yeah. So points per game, twenty seven point two on average for LeBron, twenty four point three for Larry. Take, so. But take their best season. Don't take it because you're talking about somebody played three seasons that went against their averages. Yeah, but this is something that people don't realize. Can we just stay talk total healthy? Then? Is part yeah. of the game. If that you can't now, stay now, healthy, now, now we're talking about the best ability is availability. Of course, then that's his that's point. part of the game. But I'm saying LeBron now you have is to, more available. But now you have to maximize the opportunity so of being there. At, at what point do we just take the best year of someone's career and then go? Well, I guess they're better than this guy because this year they average this. Well, I'm, I'm not going to reduce it down to that. Let's talk but about. But you are Larry. reducing it because no. you're knocking a few years off of. If you're going to knock three years off of Larry, I'm, I'm why don't we go- knock the three worst years off of LeBron and then we'll just look at LeBron because he actually was healthy more. every year he played. Who says LeBron? Not healthy, LeBron. LeBron wasn't healthy last year. So you can, not, you can knock that off. You can knock. Well, they didn't make the playoffs, so he still like, averaged twenty-seven. My last point year. is, you're willing to take three years off of Larry. So let's I'm take not three taking, worst years. I'm off not of taking Bird. three years off of Larry. I mean, LeBron. I'm not taking three years off of Larry or giving three years to LeBron. What I'm telling you is, if you're in the NBA, the ultimate goal is to win. If you have 17 years available to you mm-hmm. and you can't outwin someone that had. 13 years available. So you're basing this off winning percentage, not skill set. That's the key. Well, skill set is not even close. So here's what I would say. Le- Larry Bird is a more skilled player than LeBron. Nah, I don't agree with that. We could, we could Larry Bird is a more the skilled, stats, even if we're talking about If we're talking about numbers and we're talking about points and all that, even if you just compare their best season, LeBron is smoking it. 31.4 point, uh, points per game versus 29. LeBron greatest nine. small forward of all time. Like you, no. can't, you can't argue the numbers if we're just talking That's about the their score. best now, season. Now, what's their best re- score? What's the best rebounding? Rebounds. Bird out rebounds. Bird out rebounds him 11. LeBron out of system. And LeBron out of system, yeah. Okay, so at that point, if so at that point is winning is the last conversation. They're both in the same conversation. Winning. They won the same so if that's the case, that, listen, I I, I kind of agree fourth with you. Fourth ring. From when it comes, I'm demanding a fourth ring. I'm I am you. demanding to pass Larry Bird. That's not so crazy. You gotta get a, I don't he's think got, that's he's crazy. Get I have the same argument get, with LeBron versus Jordan. So if that's the case, Scotty, if that's the case, Scotty Pippen's the greatest small forward of all time. Because I hate it. he's not the lead of the team. So I understand that. He's I mean, not the Scotty. Team. Scotty was not. He's not like he was like a Scotty sidekick. Was, no, yeah, he really wasn't. He, he, he was shouldn't be respected. Not really. He is. He's a sidekick. The reason he's I say Scotty wasn't a sidekick because when Jordan was gone, they won fifty five games and went to the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. And you know what? Yo, wait, wait. And during that time, do you know what uh, Pippen did? He put up his foot because he had a Jordan. He had he had on the Jordans, and he was like, "Come back." Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Robin couldn't cut it in Gotham without Batman all the way. Well, and, and it's the I don't same think he was. I don't same. think he was. Uh, he just he, listen. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Larry Bird all play the same towards their team. They're the they're the center of the universe. Mm-hmm. So that's why I compare them. My thing with LeBron James: more time available. The ultimate goal is winning. Right. So LeBron I'm asking, won more. No, you have to win four titles. So here's my question. What about going does to the finals nine times? Ca- does it only count no, when ten. you win many, the title? How many times you went to the finals? It ten, only right? matters when you win a title at this level. I'm what about sure. the ten finals, ten finals appearances in nine, 17 and years? I'm not, nine, and I'm not going to hold it against him that he lost six. But he went nine times. Exactly, because going have to, still but, matters but because I, Larry Bird didn't go certain years. You're not punishing him for the years that he did go. That's why I'm not going to punish LeBron for losing the years he went. 
Right. It's all about winning. It, so they've won the same amount, and LeBron's stats are better, therefore he's better. No, no, he has to win more. His stats are because he's been in the NBA more. He has won more, though. No, he hasn't won more tight. Not ring counts. That's the win. No, no, no. The stats are better with however many years you want to cut it. He's, he has better stats. Again, I, again, I'll tell you this again. What's if you Pippen take and, Pippen best, stats and Bird stats? <laughs> that's different. That's like 17 and... Pip, I'm Pip like 17, 18, 19. But the point I'm saying is, Andrew, I demand a fourth ring. I demand either a scoring title. Mm-hmm. Like you go, you, 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 top, you top cap, you give me a fourth title. Or you give me five MVPs. Right. You give me something that's four. Separate. That's not enough. How many Bird Br- don't have four? Yeah, he has two. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Bro, I got but, four. but I'm saying if you have five Yo. more years available. Okay, here's here's a separate, here's a separate uh And Bron could have won it like ten times. So <laughs> after, they, after a while, they just like, I can't, we can't keep giving it to him every year. The same shit they used to do to Jordan. I want to throw this out. This is a totally separate conversation, but I had a conversation with a very funny comic from LA. His name is Jack Knight. We are in Montreal for this comedy festival, just for last comedy festival, and we're just riffing. He brought up a very funny thing. And he goes, uh, he goes, uh, Trump got none of the people, Trump got no jobs for the people he promised to get jobs for, mm-hmm. and tons of jobs for the people that he uh, didn't intend on getting jobs for. So the coal miners and that kind of shit, they're not getting a job. The factory workers, they still haven't gotten their jobs. But we have a black lady sketch show on HBO. We got tons of minorities. Trump didn't get that. It's a refl- some might say it's a, <laughs> sure, reflection. It's a reflection of him. It's the really? Batman effect. It's, yeah. it's the Batman effect. Right. When so, Batman put on the cape and the cowl, and all of a sudden you got you wind up uh, penguins and killer clowns and women dressing up as uh, BDSM cat women. Boy, if you vote for Donald Trump because he got Robin Thee to show, you're crazy. No, no, not not because <laughs> you vote for him. It's unintentional. What, what, to Robin Thee, love her. This way, saying it's the un- unintentional mm-hmm. effect. But what happens is you have this guy in, in the in the the office that is you know looked at as this racist and homophobic and all these oh, things. I see what you said. So then you see in entertainment, he made people reflected. embrace diversity more. Boom. Yeah, I got you. exactly. So right. I thought. Is a really funny fucking take, and I was like, "Do you got to do this as a bit?" But what an interesting take that the exact oh, opposite effect could happen. That goes to your point too about uh, parents. When you say parents want to come off as progressive, mm-hmm. when it comes to their three year olds, hundred percent. So it's like executives too, like they, they prove I'm not a Trump supporter. The show is the kid. I'm not Who's racist. The, look how many uh, Muslim trans people I made a yeah, show about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Boom, yeah, yeah. exactly. But interesting thoughts. Just keep Trump in for another four. I'm gonna get this late night talk show. You know, late up black guys in late night. <laughs> sounds like a sounds like York a huge to me. Up. That was always <laughs> that was always gonna be a task anyway. What? Factories and, and, and coal. Coal mining. Yeah. We know that. We knew that was that never was coming always back. Always be but it, it is interesting how it ended up. That's working like trying out. to convince somebody that like sleeping with a 15 year old is okay. Like it's not happening. Don't look at me. I'm not saying it's okay. <laughs> I'm just saying if you sleep with a 15 year old, you didn't rape her. All right, finding the right freelancer for your business. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying it's against the law. <laughs> Let's pay some bills. Last of Malone is his name, ladies and gentlemen. Just he comes saying. in hot. He comes in hot. Y'all don't all right? even agree? No, at all. So if you sleep with a 15 year old girl, you raped her even? Yes. yes. It's yeah. statutory rape. I agree. It's a statutory violation of the law. Statutory rape means your parents didn't approve. Whose parents? That's what statutory means. Your parents didn't approve. <laughs> no, parents? not yours. The girl's parents. The girl's parents. Why would you... First of all, you would never ask a parent for permission to who sleep would, with their 15-year-old Who has ever asked Let's somebody's stop. parents? We're not getting back to this. Can you yeah, imagine that? I'm stopping. I'm yeah, stopping I'm not, it. I'm I just came to it. talk about business. Saying, Guys, finding it. the right freelancer for your business or project doesn't have to be a struggle thanks to Fiverr. Okay? Fiverr's marketplace connects business businesses with freelancers who offer hundreds of digital services, including graphic design, copywriting, web programming, film editing, and more with Fiverr. You can get what you're looking for instantly. Simply search by service, delivery time, price, reviews, and more. Then review, compare, and purchase the services you need from sellers you trust. You'll know exactly what you're paying for up front. No negotiating needed and no transaction is complete until you're 100% satisfied with the work you receive. It's really that simple. You need an image made? Go to Fiverr, okay? You need a website cooked up? Go to Fiverr. Fiverr You need some editing for a, a sketch you put out? Go to Fiverr, make it happen, okay? I use Fiverr, too, and it's really good. You do use it. Yeah. No, no, it's good. It's All good. you and, and listen, if you want, this is 10% off. If you go to Fiverr.com, it's F-I-V-E-R-R.com, 10% off. By your first order, you just use the code IDIOTS. That's all you got to do, okay? F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Use the code IDIOTS. It's so easy. Don't waste any more time and get the service you deserve by going to Fiverr.com. Let's get back to the show. All right. What else? 
You want to talk about business now, Tad? Holy shit. shit. You finally you finally want to talk about business? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Glasses Malone, man. But listen, oh, this once again. Great. I love Glasses Malone once again, you understand. That's why when people hear the song, Tupac Must Die, <laughs> Tupac Deserves to Die, this is Glasses all the time. This ain't well, nothing new. I don't understand new. what's wrong. It's art and people are not ready to just be objective uh, about art. We're not sure. going to talk about the, the shit anymore. Let's talk about something else. Go. Yeah. Okay. We're not talking about R. Kelly. Anymore. Well, so no, we're not talking about Kelly. Black Kelly. people make R. Some Kelly's money. in jail. All right, let's talk about how appropriate black people make some money. Let's go. Hey, we had Bully Con last week. Made a lot of money. Uh, a lot of black people made some money. So uh, we gave our 15k trip to Thailand. Uh, we had a pitch competition. Had all types of. Uh, hey, you business. know what you can do in Thailand. You know what? Jesus Christ. I asked Man, when you left the room. Not, what was the, <laughs> he was not like, what can just, you do in Thailand? Because he told Glasses, he was like, if you, I, I forgot what they bet. He was like, I, I bet you a tri- trip to Thailand. I was like, why Thailand? <laughs> because I have a partner resort in Thailand. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Like, God damn. I don't know what's going on. So basically, wow. in Thailand, there are going to be the name of the podcast. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> God damn. It's the new name of the show, One Night in Thailand. Anyway, One Night in Thailand. There's a, there's a district in Thailand where you can. Don't worry about it. Yeah, let's keep going. Move. Let's talk about Wait the debate, right? I'm, I'm yeah, still don't know what the hell is it, going it, on. It, there's talk, just a lot of like sex trafficking. I, I, I had a Jesus. good conversation. Oh, um, we were talking about the debates last night. Mm-hmm. Did you watch? This, what's yes. today? Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. Yeah, yeah so it was the one that came on Tuesday night. And, you know, everybody's talking about Marianne Williamson and mm-hmm. the things she said. She had some poignant things to say about reparations. Um, she killed it. Oh, I seen her. You yeah. see what I'm saying? That's she was the most searched billion. person on Google. Yes. I'm voting for her. Right? See mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because she's coming with the tangibles. The but, tangibles. But, yeah, there were no, t- she did. See, here's my thing. This is my, this is my exact point. She's closer than everybody else. She's closer so, than your girl. Every single person on that stage last night had plans. No, they never said numbers. They never yes, said. They did. She said no committee. What are y'all she talking about? She was like, about? we need to just go and break bread. We need to go ahead and. By she, the way, she's talking about she wants to actually give people money. Your girl, uh, your girl Kamala is like, well, I think we need to study that because it's complicated. Yeah, I'm not messing with And we need to talk about education and and and, yeah, and you're, criminal you're, justice. You're a one issue voter. Yes. Uh, when it comes to this, absolutely. Because Black it's the people, one issue yes, that matters. That's the only thing we're gonna get. Because let, let me be y'all honest. Ain't getting that. Wait, yo, I'm in a room you full of one percenters. Bro, you're a one percenter. You're a one percenter. Let's not act now. like that's. Oh come on, bro! It's the only issue that should matter. To you that's the only thing that should matter to a black bro, person is reparations. You're a one percenter, no, Charlamagne. Let's not this, act this, like this, you're not. This is my whole point with this whole conversation. We have gotten so far away from actual substance in our political arena that all we care about is moments and sound bites. I love Marianne Williamson. I've been watching. I've been watching fucking Marianne Williamson since For she was months. coming on Oprah in the nineties. Yeah. She'd be all over Oprah Super Soul conversation. We had on the Breakfast Club way back. Like I love her because she talks about the healing of America. All that stuff she's saying on stage about, about dealing yeah, with your trauma and yeah, your hurt. Sure. She's been on that. She actually got a book called The Healing of America that's actually great. Sure. Came out in ninety seven. So I like Marianne Williamson. All I'm simply saying is she gave you moments. She gave you things that sounded good. Elizabeth Warren, Senator Bernie Sanders, Mayor Pete, Tim Ryan, they were all up there talking about actual policies, legislations, Medicare, things that could that could possibly get through Senate. She just gave y'all things that made y'all feel good, and everybody started searching her and saying it's going viral. So my thing is, do we actually care about substance, or do we care about moments? Here's, no, what, we I care care about. About the Here's what I care about. Number one, when Japanese Americans who were born here had businesses here, had homes and children and families, when World War II happened, they took those Japanese Americans and they put them in internment camps. When the war was over, they gave them their property back and they repaired them. They gave them money. The Native Americans who were slaughtered and everything else are still getting reparations. Some of those reparations are for treaties that were supposed to be allocated to black people. All right. So when you look at what happened here, Amer- black people were not, you know, brought to America. They were brought to the new world and we built America. And so when I look at people talking about we need to study it, especially somebody who's black, who knows good and hell well that we're not all criminals. You know what I'm saying? Like if you do prison reform, yes, it affects me if I get arrested, but I'm not a criminal. Well, and I didn't go to an HBCU. What's on. the point? Barack Obama said we need but Barack, Barack Obama, Obama was full of shit too. Barack Obama said he didn't agree with it at all. Yeah, no. Barack Obama was full of shit too. That's why I said my we point, my point is I would rather a candidate say, We're actually going to cut the check yeah, and not give me, me. Oh my God. Wait, wait, let me finish. Okay. And and not give me the whole, you know, dog and pony show with Tina Hesey Coates and, and Danny Glover. What the fuck is Mr. gonna do when it comes to actual cash? Oh no, Tony Hesey Coates. The beast with the reparations. Yo, I, I, I like what he said, but I didn't hear anything that that moved me because all they were doing on that thing was look at what it actually said. If we want to talk about words, it says to study whether or not, not there should that. be a committee formed to deal yeah. with the task of reparations. Listen, do I think black people should get reparations? Of course, we're owed that. My point is, out of two hours of substantive conversation, the only thing that from matter, ten different candidates, the only thing that matters, one soundbite from Marianne Williamson. That's no plan, no nothing, just. 
Yes. We Let's do, name me one thing specific. Dollars. Let me name me one thing clear and specific that Kamala Harris is going to do for Senator black. Kamala people. Harris says she wants to give what? What is seventy five billion dollars for black entrepreneurship and home ownership That's and HBCUs? Yeah. Okay, first she, of all, she, 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 well, matter of fact, I'll read it to you verbatim. I, I don't need because I went to Temple, so an HBCU thing ain't gonna help me unless you're gonna take care of my Howard daughter. But I mean, like I'm talking about specifically for black people because a lot of those HBCU scholarships go to Asian kids. I know because I, I I see them moving out of my kids' dorm. Yeah, you know I mean, so like we got to talk actual substance. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing: Bill Clinton ran on free health care. He ran on uh, Medicaid. He ran on a whole lot of promises and stuff, too. I'm not buying that. She has, right. a, she has a $60 billion plan, and she wants to invest it into black business owners. That's not reparations. Black colleges. That's not reparations. That is That's that is an influx of cash. That is not reparations. Because not Native right. Americans specifically— me, no, that, You have Native to one plan specific, that she has for black people. I yeah, gave it to you. That's, that's, that's what is, vague, though. What is reparations? How is that vague? What, reparations yeah. to me is cash, just like it was for the Native Americans, just like when Bernie Sanders says reparations for Native black people Americans is divisive. Native Americans get cash. They still get a check. Yes, they do. No, Native Americans they still get, get a casinos. They, they get land. They get land. They get, land. They get casinos and, and, right. and they get and checks. And they get tax. And they get, the they they get, get no checks. taxation they get based checks. on their lands. They and do they not get, get checks. checks for being Native American. They get checks for being From, part of the casino. Yeah, the casino. And they get a percentage yeah. based on that casino. So I just want my 48. I'm not, I'm not, listen. Yes, we, I listen. Y'all not going to know what to do with a mule. Guess what? I'll find a mule. The mule wasn't necessary. I want the fucking mule. What y'all going to do with a mule? I want a Maybach mule. That's Silverado today. That's upgraded. It, but the oh, thing thank you, you want to call thank you, all, 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 all of them. But the mule is, was not a part of the real deal. That became something we added on later. That's part of it. Like right, from reading. Bro. 40 I just want my 40 acres. Real right. Just let me get Yo, started. What if then. that's what Lil Nas's song was about the whole time? That's not what that song's about. All I'm simply saying is it was a two hour debate. The mules in the back. And that one sound bike. I don't even think y'all watched the debate. I watched the debate. I watched the debate. I watched the whole And time. so that was the one take that that was the No, we were that we used, you started all talking about Marion Marion Williamson. I'm here for it. She but was yeah, the most me, searched the most person on Google. Be, Who do you think was searching her? Everybody black. Black people. Black people. Yes. One bullshit. In because we couldn't get the lip service. Bro, Hillary Clinton like. came on your show and said I had horse sauce in my bag and you let her ride on it. You didn't ask her to open her bag? No, what I said to her was, no. <laughs> no. Is, am I lying? No, no. Am I lying? Yes, you, you are lying. Run the tape. No, run the tape. You are lying. Somebody run the tape. What I said to her was, this is one of those times where they're going to say you're pandering to black people. Yeah, but did you ask her to open her back? Because she could have proved what? it right there. When, I told, when I'm specifically saying to you, this is one of those times. And then she said, is it working? What if she actually And that's had. an honest answer. Bro, that's not tangible. But it's just like when her husband was on our show. So, 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 so what, what, would, what would me saying Hold open on. the bags? Yeah, yeah. Let me see when little mama, when I, I interview, well, I'll give you an example. Hold on a second. No, real I want to know what quick. you think on me this. saying on this. in her bag, All right. there's hot sauce in there. What would that have done? If I was like, let me show me the hot sauce. Because she, she at least like she would have go, she would have looked like a liar and it would have proved it. The same way when I interviewed little mama. You believed her? No, I didn't believe her at all. Fuck no. She's a fucking politician. So so what happens is the question is. That's fucked up. We in a world where everybody like, will you believe a politician? No, 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 So the question was this. And me saying. Saying to her, no, I'm about, I'm, me I'm, saying I'm, to a former first you. lady, I'm defending you. This is one of those yeah. times they're going to say you're pandering to black people, right? Because this shit people always say about it. Let's her. say you yep. said, let's see the hot sauce in your bag, right? If she does have hot sauce in the bag, she might does. be talking. If about she something. doesn't, she goes. I thought you meant what is something I carry with me, like when I'm going out to eat, because they might not have it. Yes. And now she's out of the question. She didn't even have a bag. <laughs> she came with a bag. Secret Service was holding that bag. So, she had so, a bag. So, 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 no so she don't have the bag. bag. But the question is a hypothetical. What is something that you have that in your bag that people wouldn't know that no. you have? Yes. By asking, by saying what he says, you call out what you're thinking, right. which, which is, is he's are pandering. you pandering to black people? Saying, show me the fucking Cholula. <laughs> <laughs> it's Franks, we're black. Franks, Franks, red hot. Franks, Franks, red hot. We're black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. You're supposed to be up on this, show. Be slipping, sir. I just started doing hot food. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All I'm simply saying the is... The only thing black people should care about in this election is reparations. Period. Because everything else, really given, no bro, everything, everything else has been given. No way. Everything else has been We've already had the yeah, dog and pony show involved. on everything else. Everything How, else no. is going to be everybody else. Bill Clinton in 1992 was talking about universal health care. Did it happen? Listen, y'all love Bernie. I don't love Bernie. Bernie love said that reparations Warren. was divisive while he voted for reparations for Jewish people. So you're a one voter issue where you're no, only going to vote on It's the most important issue to me. No, I'm not only it's voting for reparations. I'm not that, that immature. Why? Because what else is somebody going to do? Because we built black this country and everybody people. else is back on up, our shoulders. Back up, 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 to a Republican Senate. Do you think that bill is going to ever get passed? It's a, it's a great chance it's not, right? But the point is... It's, it's not. Let's focus on what the only thing that should matter to us. 
When did Bernie vote for reparations for Jews? He didn't vote for it. He said that they, sh- he said that they should receive it. Yeah, they take, should. take money from another country, sure. Why wouldn't you no, vote I don't for that? If, 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 rep- if you're saying that reparations for black people... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here's my point. If you're saying that reparations are, are, are divisive for black people, why aren't they divisive for Jewish people? It's divisive because the country in and of itself is going to pay for it. When you say the Jews country became a superpower off of my blood, Listen. the country became a superpower off of my blood. The Point country should period. pay for it. Okay. But all I'm simply saying is, you, why is that, that the soundbite of a two-hour debate? Did America become a superpower off of people? your blood? Meaning off of the blood of people who what built this country, get? my ancestors. HBC does a not, lot of people HBC built this country. Not Bro, not like black people. people. Did, were Asians just, involved in it? Of course they were involved in it. Did they get counted in it? No, they don't get counted so in the black people, reparations. Do white, people, people, do, do white people get counted in that at all? Like the white people who fought for the independence of the country, do they get counted in that? No, because they, 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 got, the they got an army pension. We could try that again. And the first they person didn't who, get an army pension. Yes, they you did. really don't know what you'd be talking yes, about. They, they were promised on an top army of that, pension. The very they got first, one month pay afterwards. The, one month pay? How much pay did we get? What are talking about now? How much pay did we get? I'm just saying, who you, died you first in the Revolutionary bullshit. War? Governor Morris. Who died who first in the Revolutionary who, War? Who died first in the Revolutionary War? Not to mention, when it comes to white people, oh. when it comes to white people, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas Addicts. Addicts. <laughs> not Atticus. Atticus right. is a character oh, from Spartacus, but that's okay. Anyway, um, last I checked, black people are the only people in the history of this country that have fought in every war for America. Because if you were interviewing, white people, listen, if you were interviewing Mary Ann Williamson and huh? she said that, right? Wait, 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 if you what, interviewing, did you just say white I'm, people I'm, didn't fight in in what war did white people not fight? The Civil War. You remember white the Confederates? Didn't fight in the Civil no, war? I'm saying there are white people who are say living now who saying. are descended from the Confederacy who uh-huh. fought against the Union, which is these United States. Okay. Black people have consistently fought for America. We're the only people who can say that. Point blank. What about period. the North? What about the North? What about They're, the Union so the fighters in the North? I'm not talking about the Union fighters in the North. Are I'm they not about, from America? Oh my fucking what God. What country are the half million saying? What are we debating right now? I'm saying, my whole thing is... Do you know how America works? I do know how America works. Do you know how America was formed? Us. Time out. What is the debate right now, though? The debate is, what I'm saying is, black people are owed reparations because we are consistently American. What I'm saying to him was... I'm not denying reparations. I'm just denying your knowledge of American history. Oh, I know my American history. No, I know that don't. the Confederates were white, were they not? Let me, let me say were something the Confederates else. white, yes or no? Yeah, no shit. Okay, then. Yeah. But that has nothing to do with you saying that black people are the only people who have fought in every American war. What as about a whole, the northern whites? As a whole. What as was that whole. Abraham Lincoln guy? Puerto Rican? Abraham Lincoln did not debatable. want to go down as the president. <laughs> that, that, that is kind of debatable. <laughs> but on top of that, Abraham <laughs> Lincoln did not want to go down as the president that <laughs> fucked up the country. It was, was not about slavery. The Civil War was not about slavery. It was about states' rights. But again, again. It was about the money. But But again, I'm not mad at that. Like, I don't think. Y'all ain't asking the one fundamental question. Like what's you were, like both of y'all. You said, you know, she brings up hot sauce, and you ask, "What's in her bag?" Ask Marianne Williams and how she gonna get the reparations. Now we, now we, I, I asked you on that. I, 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 I want to play because I asked her. You, you and you know what she said? What? I, I don't know wherever, wherever we get money from. Can I ask like, a so question though? When, when Notre Dame burned, burned down, down money from why is it that America could find billions for Notre Dame real quick? For everybody. We need to bring in a so plan. Look, so here's the thing. When I, when I, was, a, when I was a young Nobody kid. Nobody has a plan for reparations. When I was a young you know kid, who right? has a plan? Not none of the candidates. Uh, tone talks. Guys, 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 guys. Yeah. You need to bring Tony here. Or Dr. Clyde Anderson. And get them to... Listen, listen, listen. Reps is important. When I was a kid, there was this... There was this... A buddy told me that if we met the the boat every time it came in. There was like this little ferry. And if you met the ferry every time it came, they were going to pay us $80 a week, Mm -hmm. right? All we had to do is meet it, right? And I wanted that $80 a week. So I never asked them where that money came from. I never asked them how we were going to get paid. Mm -hmm. I never asked them if we were ever going to get paid. I just knew I was getting $80 a week at the end of the summer. And the end of the summer came, I was like, bro, when are we getting $80 a week? And he was like, oh, I guess they're not paying us. And I think that that's what's happening now is we're so intoxicated with the idea of receiving this money, we're not asking how How? it's actually going to get there. I asked Marianne Williamson how. She does not have a house. She's just like, wherever we get money from any other time. The The fact that she has a lot of money the, the, while Notre Dame was still burning down, how did America find money to pay for Notre Dame? That's Maybe not five hundred trillion her, dollars. Five hundred billion. She said two hundred to five hundred billion. No, she we, said trillion. We need to give her the plan. She said trillion. We need to give her the plan. <laughs> like, it's our fault for not having the plan. <laughs> all I'm saying is we have the plan. It's been written down. All you got to do is pick a paranomics. So next time you get her in here, you hand her the plan. This is the plan to make sure we get this money. What's the plan? Well, Taz, what's the plan? Plan is very simple. First of all, you allocate land. You give what us what land. 
Where? That's Pick not money, though. You want Area 51? I'm not, I'm wasn't, oh, God damn it, Schultz. No, I don't want You tell me what land, because I want just, I'm just trying to be pragmatic. Area 51, y'all got it. It's like, tell me what land. Did we put the aliens in Area That's what black people did? We put the aliens in Area 51? You figure out where all the land are. If you figured out how to work, motherfuckers, you can figure the rest of this shit out. Thank you. You figured out when it worked in your sitting on a damn porch. I wasn't here then. Not you. I was in Europe. But here's the thing. All white people, and let me make this clear. All white people are not racist, but every white person person 51. in America benefits from racism. I don't Period. think really that's white people. That's sure, but sure, but, that's but that is not, off, not that's what we're what talking we about. But it is what we're talking about. Me and racism about. No, have a whole because different Because if you benefit... Hold on, hold on. We're going to we'll get there in a second. I just <laughs> want to get... I, before we start doing it, because I don't want to no, get no, into no, the racist quick, shit. No, 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 real quick, real quick, real quick. So here's the thing. We, right now we have a situation we're all very passionate about this I think everybody in this room wants the best for black Americans I think that's safe sure, how yeah, we absolutely. get and and if reparations are the best possible thing and I think there's I think there's a great argument for reparations outside of slavery right because if you want to make the argument that slavery has happened across every country in the world sure. you'll be 100% you got right Jim Crow segregation wait wait for it you got wait for it, wait for it. So, so so outside of that redlining, redlining. Yep. Jim Crow segregation yeah, right sure, the sure. restriction yeah, of is, economic of empowerment yeah. to black people specifically mm -hmm. in America to me is a way better argument for reparations than even slavery because every country throughout history has had slavery it is all of that though Marianne Williamson brings no, all no, that no no i'm not that. denying that i'm not denying that so when when People have asked me, because initially my reaction to reparations was, no, nah, that's preposterous, how are you going to do it? And then I looked into it and I was like, no, there is a great argument for it because of the specific and targeted restriction of economic development of a specific community in America, right? 100%. So how we go about that is different. You say it's very simple. I don't think it's that simple, but I'm curious to learn from you how we go so test. You tell us how we do it. Where does that money come from and how do we make it Where did it the money come from to fight the wars? Where did the money come from to... Wars make you money. Bro, exactly. But guess what? Well, We're always Lincoln, talking about stimulating Lincoln the Lincoln printed up the money. Lincoln printed up the money. Hell, the Secret the Service war. was created because there was too many counterfeiters happening out here not to protect the president. That came after Lincoln was assassinated. So when you look at the entirety of what's happened with black people, it still starts from slavery and then everything happened. There were no police until it started to get to a point where there were a whole lot of fleet black, po black people running around here. And then all, the th all of a sudden, hey, babe, we got we to control this. And so the slave catchers started to become police and things of that nature started to happen. You see how so, you're not answering? The I question. am answering your question. Though. You're not. Really you're am. avoiding how you, the question. How do, you split, how do you split the money up? Like, who gets the money? Does are the, you are you are you a direct descendant of slaves? You can easily prove that. All so you got to do is Caribbean? go to the 18. What about Caribbeans that were born here? The Caribbeans have that's a whole different that's a whole different argument because it depends on what island, island it is. So that means Marcus Garvey wouldn't have got reparations. Yeah, no, no, not at all. Everybody wow, that's ain't crazy. Here. Barack, I know, everybody no, Barack ain't is, That means Malcolm X wouldn't have got reparations either. Everybody Maybe that's in. why Kamala doesn't want reparations. Of course Kamala doesn't want reparations. She does want reparations. She is no, she for reparations. She, she, she definitely shouldn't get no, no reparations. I don't want to talk about that. She but should again, not she get reparations. Nobody she, can, reparations. she shouldn't get She actually says she's for some form of reparations. Some form. Just like just like uh, Zuckerberg said, there'll be some form of Facebook Here's that's Here's the thing. Free. That's a more logical answer. A more logical answer is some form of reparations. That's you niggas ain't getting five. We ain't getting $500 trillion. You're never going to convince America to give out five. Five hundred trillion dollars. I'm not all saying that. What I'm saying 40 is, forty acres. All I want, I, I, I want, I want more than just the land. You gotta give me. I it want, might not I, be listen, in America. I even, I'll take it wherever you got it. Wherever you got it, I can look. Just I can sell some place else. Give me hundred and forty acres in Belize. Uh, y'all say that 40. they're gonna fucking dish out Antarctica to y'all niggas. I'll take you a bunch of coal. Watch that shit up. Turn that shit up. I bet you everybody gonna want to be up there in five years. Yo, everybody gonna want to be up there. How difficult it is for us to even say where the money's coming from. The money is coming. The government, the government prints Abraham money every single day for bullshit. Bro, I guarantee to you, if you look at what's in the budget with the goddamn gold fucking toilet seats and all this other goddamn bullshit, let me let me let me let me get you. Go ahead, glasses. When Abraham Lincoln, right? This is why Abraham Lincoln is my favorite president and the best president of all time. This guy, he's the guy. Listen, I'm gonna tell you why Abraham Lincoln is my guy. He is right. One, when the country tried to split, he fought them and made them stay down. That's my kind of guy. Two, right. He freed the slaves. True, it wasn't because he necessarily cared about black people, none of that. But For the I'm time. going to cripple your economy. So I'm going to free these people. Right. I hate the idea of you splitting so much that I'm going to take your property and now they're going to fight for me in the war. And if you cross over here, you free. I'm going to do whatever it takes to cripple your side in the war. He That's was against my kind slavery of guy. before he was president. Though, right? That's my honest. kind of guy, right? Yeah. It's not, again, if I would ask slaves back then, 
If you can have slides, I would have had some. I mean, I wouldn't have to hang nobody because I'm big enough to fight people. Ooh, glasses. It's the truth. I'm saying it was yeah, a thing. Yeah, we lying ourselves when we talk about that too, though. Y'all did. In I Africa, want, you did. I wouldn't want to like, slay. I wouldn't want to have slaves in Africa. No, no, no. Not, you not, can't compare not Western that, bro. Africa. Not Western yes, Africa. Yes, you can. Not Western Africa. 100%. You think, well, you think slaves Africa. in Africa? I, no, listen. Oh, no, 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 no. Northern Africans have slaves, not Western Africans. I do think about that, though. Like, if I could have slaves, would I have had slaves? Western Africans absolutely had slaves because that's where the Europeans got the slaves went for America. The post The triangle trade slave, the slave trade. The post wasn't owned by those countries. It's a trick. Hundred percent, they do. No, Warring Africa tribes, definitely had slaves. Warring no, they tribes had would slaves kidnap there. the tribe that they lost, and then they would sell them. No, they sixty percent, like they 50, were prisoners of war. Prisoners like, of war. Like, like, those are not slaves. Well, well like, well, like fifty percent, fifty to sixty percent of all slaves came through Gatson Dwarf in Charleston, South Carolina, directly from West they, Africa. No, no, again, they're prisoners of war. They weren't slaves. They wouldn't. Yes, they were. No, they were absolutely. Prisoners of war. Prisoners Musa had Gatson. slaves. To be honest with you, I think they just gave up the niggas that was whack. No, the niggas that they beat up on. So, so that's what we should say, do. It. You said we all defended from we all descended from whack ass niggas. I, 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 I really, really feel that way, and I think that the Damn. ones of us that have that blood. No wonder they ain't come back for us. I, now it explains it. I think the that's ones of us why they call us a cop. The ones that have that blood, blood in us. Yeah, they was like we could let them niggas go. But we got. But we the kings. But they wasn't slaves. But I think there was some of us that was like, get these niggas the fuck out of here. These niggas that's fucking up. Sell them to the European. They gonna go there and fuck this shit up. Then we go take America. Listen, shows. They wasn't slaves, so they weren't slaves there. Right? They yes, weren't they slaves. were. You're no, wrong. They were prisoners of war. No, but they were also slaves. That's an Egypt. Every society throughout history has had slaves. Had slaves but we did, except Western the Africa. They're the one that don't. No, Everybody else did it Southern except Africa Western too. Africa. But listen. American but, slavery was different, though, because it was slave violence. I'm with you on this. It was so it was, yeah, so it was that's different. That's what you on that. everybody has slaves. I'm not going to do that. Every continent has slaves. But moving on. Thirdly, why Abraham Lincoln is my favorite president. It's not completely different. There were different aspects to it, and we can get into the exact specific different aspects. Let me get this off. Let me get this off. There was no whips in Africa. Branches. Thir- listen, thir- no, <laughs> come on, bro. A switch. That's the switch, listen, bro. You bro. don't think they thirdly, had the switch? Thirdly, and yeah. which brings us to the point of this conversation. Yeah. What I liked about Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. When the Federal Reserve didn't want to fund the war or wanted this ridiculous interest rate to fund the war, right? They wanted money for the war to fight the South. They wouldn't loan them the money without these crazy extensions on the Federal Reserve, being able to print money, thousand things, blah, blah, blah. He printed the greenbacks and then made the actual money valuable by saying you could pay your taxes with it. That's how he paid and fought for the war. So just like you printed up all those Hundreds of millions of dollars to fight that war, mm-hmm. you could run that change. You do now, know Abe Lincoln freed the slaves, but then he also gave the slave masters reparations, right? Yeah, sure because did. he took their property. It makes sense to me. So Jesus Christ. Now, now, so therefore he kept that's how you keep the white people on top always. Period. I mean, at the end even of the when day, you take away that slave, which is their business, you say, here's some money, because I know they're about to fuck they paid business for them. Up. But they didn't get the slave shit. No, because they, they was because they was the property. You get a slave master's reparations, but not the slave. He paid for you. It what makes sense to me. Not after they freed them? No, I bought you, right? For Let's say I bought you for $1,000. This, I bought you because this is what was going on when you came over here. This I paid is what it's akin to. So they got Let me a make the argument. Let me make and again understand the context of this. I'm not making this fucking argument. I hate that I even have to preface this. But you better not say slaves must die. No, no, okay. not at all. Jesus. <laughs> That's fucked up. But like, do you know what a like a gun buyback is? Sure. Yeah. So that would be the same a similar thing. Sure. In other words, hey, we don't want you to have guns anymore, but we understand you purchased a yeah, gun. You spent your hard earned money. So we will buy these guns back from you just to get them off the street. Just to get them off streets because we understand it's better for society that if there aren't any more guns in this situation. It wasn't. Sucks. I mean, I get what that's, you're saying, but it wasn't the, a buyback, though. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely I mean, a buyback. It was, it was. I mean, I can see what you're saying. It can technically kind of be Think a buyback. About it. If somebody crippled your whole economy at that point, this is how your broke ass got on top and then they just took that from you. You owe me some money because I spent my money and so I once, So once in again, America America systemically did something to black people to put them in a bad position. So they need to do something systemically to get us out the same way they systemically did stuff for those slave masters to keep them afloat. I agree. That's why we back to the point of reparations yeah, of but this 40 it, but, acres. But, but, but we got, when you talk about tangibles... Right. 40 acres is tangible. Yes. I can hold that. 500 bro. trillion dollars. Listen, but they where, spread across 13 where, million people. How did they get the 500 trillion dollars in the first place, though? And by bro. the way, how much is that per family? And is it, indi- is it each individual? Is it family? Like, we got to think about this. The same way they thought about how to make slavery work, figure out how to make this paperwork. Right. So we admit that how we did, don't know how to do it. But how did they do it for the Japanese Americans that they put I in the term? I wouldn't know how to enslave people neither. Can we, can we yeah. admit we. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to enslave people neither. Have you ever had someone work for you? I don't know how to Have you ever thought about Everybody who works them. for me gets paid very well, and so by the way, I can't relate. By the way, some, by the way I feel bad. If America ever dishes business. out $500 trillion to black people, which they won't, inflation like a motherfucker. So here's every, 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 That's why $15 an hour minimum wage doesn't work. 
All I want is my reparations. I feel that's fair. Forty acres. The best thing about I don't want interest on it. The best thing about the reparations. No, I want forty acres. I want that money, and I don't ever want to have to pay taxes again. Period. The best thing about the topic being introduced (laughs) in this year, this year, uh, (laughs) do do natives pay taxes? This year's election. Yeah, they do. If they they live in, now they live in regular society. What if they did that? What if they said, you know what, black people don't got to pay taxes for the next. 250 years. Cool, I still want my check because you know what? Martin Luther King had a dream and he said, when we come to D.C., I'm coming to get my check. I want my check. Period. I feel like we've earned it because everything, everything, the foundation check. is... When did the, Martin Luther King say I'm coming to get my check? I, I would, listen, I you want to put up 10000 Wait, wait, stop. He you want to put up $10,000 right now that he said let, it? Let Promissory note no. or check? No, actual check. No, he that actually, could, that no, I go, he said, we're coming to get our check. Not that I had We just were talking about the fake Do you want to... No, no, don't co-sign. Do you want to put up $10,000 that he said? No, no, he doesn't. Wait for it. In the I Have a Dream speech, you said... Not in the I Have a Dream speech. No, 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 no. Back up. Because you said he said, I have a dream. I said, no, not that I have a dream speech. Speech. He said, "We're coming I to get our check." I know that speech. No, I know you know that speech because it's the only one you know. Well, yeah, for, pretty good for a white <laughs> guy. That, no, that's no, that's that's typical for a white guy because hey, once y'all killed Martin, talking about that. once y'all killed Martin, y'all made him into a martyr and y'all took out all the venom. Because one of the good. last things he said was, "We're coming to get our check." That is a direct quote. That's why he got knocked off. It wasn't. I have a dream speech. He did it was get not an I have a dream speech. He was actually organizing a march called the Poor People's Movement, the poor people's and the Poor People's Movement was a march for everybody. It wasn't just oh, so it wasn't just for. Black let him finish. It was for black yeah. people. It was for, it was for poor people, period. So right. people in this country that was poor, and they was all going to march on Washington. So all the poor people get a check. But he did, believe, he did believe in reparations, too. No, though. You got right. it. You got and he also went as far as to talk about how white people who were getting education to learn how to farm land, equipment to farm that land, subsidies to farm that land, and But and, they, didn't, and they didn't promise that. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. This is what he was saying that white people were currently getting at the time that he was alive. No, and I know. Then I know. On, I, and I then remember he went that on and said, yeah. these are the same people that are telling us, meaning black people, to pick our ourselves up by, by our bootstraps. Bootstrap. How do you tell a bullish man to pick himself up by his bootstraps? Exactly. Love that. So Love that. It's more than I have a dream. But so if Martin like- Luther King, if we if we agree that Martin Luther King what was about people and making sure that people had justice, and this man said that he wanted reparations for black people, ladies and gentlemen, good night, run me my check. Because that's what Martin said. Again, 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 let's go back. Nobody's, did, everybody here, we've all said that we all no, agree. No, 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 no. Everybody agrees. Everybody says we all agree. Black people should get some type of reparations. Like, hey, you know we all agree? We all agree that tomorrow we want it to be sunny and 80 degrees. How do we make it fucking make sunny it and 80 degrees? The same way you one. figure same out slavery. My pro- right my biggest problem with all of this, though. The same that- way you figure out slavery, handle your business. Get the smartest motherfuckers in the room, figure out how you run that check, and run so it. My we, biggest problem yeah. is this. We love sound bites. Yeah. Marianne Williamson gave us one sound bite, and everybody's running with it you out of a two-hour debate. You don't debate. have nothing. So all you have is little so, glimpses so, of hope. What so, she said about Flint was colder than that to me. Wait, Flint is right. a Michigan problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus hold on. Christ. So there's justice anywhere. There's justice everywhere. everywhere. But, but, it's it's problem problem. Problem. but it's a Michigan problem to handle. Flint, but Michigan could, is full of black like, people, But like Marianne said last night, go to Denmark, B.C. That's about to I mean, not Denmark, B.C. Denmark, South Carolina. That's about to happen there. Like, that can happen in so many different... South Carolina's business But that can happen to so many different in inner cities throughout America. Uh, America. America needs to handle their business. I, I understand Christ. what he's saying. We, we, That's the whole point of the United States, States rights of America. America. It is a state like right. the state yeah. is being cheap and fucking but over the citizens. That could happen to any state in America they, at that's any That's why time. they have to handle And at a certain point in time, business. a state has to has a, have a responsibility to handle their problems because when you have a problem, if you just get bailed out by the federal government. It's it the same. fucks up everybody but that else. Be, but time out. That but we, be, it's but the that same reason the why we said, well, the same reason why we said we shouldn't bail out these car companies and bail out all this other shit. Like, why are we bailing them Private the fuck entity. out when you and I can't pay a loan on a home and we don't get bailed out? Mm-hmm. So fuck that car company. If I'm getting fucked, you get fucked. Let the whole thing burn down. That, that I think, is I'm more or less what, in agreement with that. what we're saying. I, I think we're all agree. Every one of us but agrees. But doesn't, that doesn't that cripple the economy throughout America when shit like that happens? But didn't fact but some sit people, up there stuffing their pockets and getting everybody into that mess cripple the economy in the first place why shouldn't these people be draw, drawn out in front in public and whips in in in, in, in uh, irons and chains and be arrested they did not deserve to get bailed out that's not cool Ooh, the, 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 the car, car companies the car companies and all that shit the See, banks I, I, I don't, when they did those predatory loans for those homeowners that, that got these there, ridiculous well you have to I'm gonna say, say why I'm gonna say why I don't agree with that the reason I don't agree with that is because there's a, there's a guy working at one of those factories right who's Feeding his family and has been feeding Great. his family for years. It's been a generational job. His dad worked there. His granddad worked there. It's not his fault that the motherfuckers at the top are greedy as shit. 
You got to worry about those people. No, no, I, I'm with you as well. I'm with you on that. How long we've we been talking about this? We still have no way of paying it, and we keep talking as if we're going <laughs> to find a way to how pay. How did they figure out slavery? How did they slavery to make is the money easiest and just... thing to figure out in the world? Hey, you owe me something. You don't have any money. Why don't you work for me for free? That is the initial. I that's not initiation. That is how slavery started. No, not no, in this country. You could, you could, no, not no. in this country. You not think not slavery, not slavery started in this country? No, I'm telling you how slavery started. I'm talking about biblical slavery. No, I'm talking about slavery started in this country. Moses, we get reparations from Pharaoh now. Because we ain't going to talk about biblical because they didn't do shit by the biblical right. They was the worst slave owners in the history of the Bible. Ever. This country. This is a piece no, of no, shit. No, no, no. Okay. They don't know how to Buddy, treat their property. No, no, they no, no, no. I understand. Fast. I understand. I understand. I understand. What I'm trying to say, I thought you were talking about how did slavery I'm get saying figured out initially. just like you no. figured out slavery, how slavery in America. Just yes. like America figure figured out Figure out how to run the check. See. You could figure it all out. You figured it out before. Yeah, but you, the, the four of us could that I agree figure with. out how to enslave somebody. That's not the most difficult it's thing hard. to do. Oh, it's hard. No, it's not. Man, Lather, we can't you even kidnapped agree. somebody before. We can't even. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> now, when they were kidnapped, did you ever go, can you get me a glass of water? Dog, I wouldn't know how to did kidnap somebody. Like, do you feed them? Let's like, be clear. Mass do? incarceration is enslavement. So and it's I could run not a prison. prison. It's, it's, it's not, not the hardest thing in the world. It's the hardest thing to run a successful prison is hard. Is it's it? hard. Yes. Clink, clink, close it, stay there. See, that's to see, that's not that easy. That's why slavery was so messed up because you had to have mental. Like in Africa, right? Slavery didn't have to be so bad because you had the biggest guys to keep the slaves in check. You come to America, it's a little dude five foot seven trying to scream at somebody six foot four. Yeah. You got to play mental games. You got to do a thousand things to keep that person. You got to make them feel like you got to. You got to. You got to make them feel like they're less. So just human. like you use all of that. Mental oh, but talking about talking We're forgetting one other thing too. You take a person, you take a people from their land. Mm -hmm. They don't know the territory here. Yeah, but they don't but know the language. Blame, I'm not gonna blame America for that. I'm Why not? Because they didn't. They they didn't have the biggest slave trade companies. That would be a lie. That's but if I if, if I take somebody and put them in foreign territory, yeah, but you can't where, say if, even if I say I'm gonna fight, where am I going? Yeah, but we can't generally say you know white. What I'm we no, can't yeah, say generally say white people, right? Because you talking about Dutch, you talking about French, you talking about all kind of other people. So I'm focused on American white folks. I mean, American white, not even Irish people, English people, American English people, because Irish people they ain't have shit neither. They, they still benefit American from white supremacy white today. I'm, I'm not saying they don't benefit from white. They became something better to help than us, but they were not special, and to this day they're not special in this system. They just better than us. Everybody except white women is better than us. White women ain't got no action in this country, but that's a whole nother shit. Me, it's zero fuck. action. You out of your that's goddamn wrong. mind. Go you was doing so well. Fuck you talking about? Get cockroach glasses. Tell y'all glasses. I don't know. It you was a white lady. Yo, we were all on board until you said that bullshit. You're out of your mind. Yeah, you 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 Let me tell you something. It is a white lady, a celebrity with no experience, with a fucked up tan and a fucked up toupee. Became the president before a white lady. Who are you talking about? Wait, what? <laughs> you think Donald Trump is a woman? No. A became the president a white woman. before that white lady. I'm going to tell you why Chad and glasses fit into the podcast. Oh, I missed out. I I'm missed gonna, no, no. I'm going to tell you why they fit with Hillary the grid. It's like Trump has they no say experience the most and they was like, we got to pick Trump. Wildest shit with such passion. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. Listen, if you could pick a celebrity with no experience, yeah. with a fucked up toupee and a fucked up tan, over a white lady with experience whose husband was just a we gotta no, we gotta stop saying that, bro. We got, listen, I'm gonna tell you why we gotta I'm stop not saying even, that. Because I'm gonna tell you, the four million votes ain't enough. Hillary won. Hillary had more of the popular vote, and there was Russian interference. I don't Donald give a fuck. Trump it's is no an illegitimate president. Even if, how the fuck did how he get close? Oh yeah, the, the, that's how much Trump they don't fuck with white ladies. Illegitimate president, yo. That's yeah. how much. White men don't fuck with women. They not fucking with that. But white women sure fuck with their, they sure fuck with their men burned. because listen. a lot of white women voted for, for Trump. Fuck, listen, Black Wall Street got burned down because of a white woman. Emmett Till is dead because no, of a white woman. it's not about a white like, woman. That's just you, you got on a race whistling at a white woman, race woman and he's dead. Right now. If you go so around any white woman in this shit. building like, and your dick get hard, she gonna call the police. Listen, and you know why jail. And you know why it's not about her. They don't really care about protecting them people. They don't give two fucks. They are mad that there's some other shit happening that they can't control. They don't fuck with women. Trump shit. tells you he has no respect for these hoes. I mean, Trump don't got no respect for nobody. Neither do none of the rest of them. Bush, none of them got respect for yeah, these hoes. Yeah, but they got respect for them until you fuck with them. When no. your black ass when fuck with them, you're going to have that. And the only reason they want to do that because <laughs> well, they, they, they want to show you they the man. They just want to show you like, oh, I got them in check. Let me go get them in check. Really, they don't give two fucks.
Nah, <laughs> listen, I'm I telling think you, they, I think Hillary they, Clinton we couldn't just don't beat Donald come behind Trump. That. But that's also <laughs> <laughs> that's not what they tell me. They don't. Oh, white so, men do really not fuck the black guy. Yeah. Oh, oh, so I can't do nothing with that. Oh, that's like throwing a hot dog down the hallway now. It's like giving well a tip. Why, why, why you gotta disrespect me like that? You gotta think. You just said it. You gotta think, right? You gotta think, right? Joke. I'm playing the guy. White women. Okay, cool. White women. Not him at all. Are part of the same shit that that's why black people can't that's why I'm not fucking with you with the bullshit Charlamagne it's no way like when they do shit for like who do they call that class of people yeah. like that they get a section aid or uh, uh, what is poor it called poor no no it's not poor cause not poor it's more to it than that cause they welfare, have another thing welfare no it's um what's the class of people um, Poor and disenfranchised? Um, no. White, white trash. women are any people that's oh, not Jesus. white men. White trash. Oh, minorities. Minorities. Okay. White women are part of minorities. Yes. Yes. Listen, first of all, all minorities don't get Section 8. I mean, I'm, again, I'm saying the, why they started the programs, more or less. Okay. For minorities. Yeah. Right? For They started for my, White women are a part of it. That's why I'm not with... No, that's, that's what I'm telling bullshit. you right now. I'm not with... No, because they really... White men... Do not well, listen, fuck with these hoes. I will like say that. this: I agree with Glasses on this point. I believe that we are. I they don't. I believe they don't call with this. I'm shit. a white guy, and I'll be honest. Listen, you we do not fuck with these hoes. We do not. I do not be fucking with these hoes. I do agree with you on now this point. Now that you phrase it like that, I, I these hoes are not to be fucked with by me. Listen, yo, this son of a bitch is going listen, on stage this weekend agree, somewhere. I do agree that you know, he's not fucking with these hoes. Old white entitled privileged men don't give a fuck about nobody but other old white entitled privileged men. I do agree with that, and I do believe. I believe that when you look at the way this even country was founded, the Constitution and all that shit, all that shit was for them. The that shit wasn't for the, <laughs> the What were these girls doing sewing? <laughs> the, nigga, they better what do What were they going to do, literally? Listen, you, you got to look at shit in the context of time. If you go time. to Middle Eastern countries, dog, don't know rich men give a fuck. Up, I'm t- women well, got to fuck That's why up. everybody needs to be concerned, and that's why I keep telling you that the federal Republicans, mm-hmm. as we know it, it's a fascist regime. And Donald Trump shows you that every day because fascists do not like women, especially women that are outspoken yep. and got some shit to say. <laughs> this is your new narrative. You run a win. You goddamn no, right. Because you know what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm, I'm telling you. Be I'm telling you. They love the day. They so cold because they use the so fast. Bro, this is what, yep. listen, this is what's going to happen because we're in political times. I get it. It's like the Republicans got to call the Democrats communists and the Democrats are have to Democrat? call the Republicans no. fascists. Are you a Democrat? Hell no. I mean, I'm registered as a Democrat, but I don't, I'm not I'm independent. All I know is I'm paying attention to what the fuck is going on. Period. That motherfucker got a monopoly. Is he gonna do something to us? If he's not gonna do nothing to us, I don't give a fuck. Because everybody <laughs> else don't give a fuck if something happened to us. So I'm just trying to make sure something happened good for us one time. Listen, uh, under, you can make un, an under, argument that Trump has done more for black people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Central Park Five. Don't get me started. Um, yeah, you can no. make an argument, right? But that's with not the, the point. No. With the prison reform, that. he's actively Listen, trying to reform. He's, 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 he's doing that for a white woman. He's the most progressive right president when it comes to prison reform. He is. He's a celebrity president. I don't think he's even racist. He's ain't got nothing about racism. This is why I was trying to focus. All I know is in seven. If Trump wins in 2020, and then six, seven years from now, you can't tell America apart from Hungary or Poland. In a Russia, not gonna this, all right, I'm not gonna happen. Look, okay, I love this, how, wait, what how the rich do with 15 if, jobs. If he wins again in 2020, yeah, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference <laughs> between America, Russia, you. Hungary, or Poland. It will affect me. Hold on, media, I want to, I want to, I want to, wait, what were you saying? I said, and if he wins in 2020, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference between Russia, uh huh, America, uh huh, or Hungary, or Poland, or any other country because they're what, because they're what, what. What Meaning like what? Like the way the country is Yeah, run? because of the government. It's a fascist government. A fascist government. Yeah. And and what is what is fascism? For it's those one, of us it's, who it's, don't it's know. It's one party. Dictatorship. It's a dictatorship. That's what it is. And if you look at him now, he controls the DOJ. Right. He controls the Supreme Court. Right. He controls the fucking Senate. Just got rid of the fucking national intelligence guy, but added his own guy. This Barack didn't do this. This, one, this guy has a monopoly you know on Barack everything. Yo, Man. so much so, oh, he got Senate it. Intel says... Russians interfere with the election. Rob Mueller says fucking Russians interfere with the election. Everybody knows Russians interfere with the election. Yep. Let's pass the election security bill. It's not like, nope. <laughs> right. That's what he's supposed to do. Listen, Moscow Mitch. That's just, I mean, listen, whatever you got to do to stay in, in power. This guy, yeah, but he's not going to make it another. Uh, even if he. If who's he's not going to make it another what? He, I'm saying if he's reelected, right, from 20 to 24, he's not going to make it. He thinks <laughs> I'm going to be an optimist and say, I he, hope he doesn't. No, I'm saying if he wins, because I think he's going to win. I, 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 think, no I think he's going to win no by a landslide. Oh, one at a time, one at a time. Go on. 
I think he's gonna win by a landslide. Yeah, uh, yeah he, he is gonna win. win he nobody. is gonna win. Well, because he's 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 gonna win because of the conversation we've had today, right? We know what we want. We don't know how to get it, and nobody knows how to get it. But we're so driven by hope. We'll just go to whoever gives us hope. So this Marianne Louise or whatever her name is uh, said, "Hey, here's some hope." And then we go, oh, "We love her." And then next week, Andrew Yang is gonna come on. He's gonna go, "I'm yes. gonna give you guys a thousand dollars." And people go, "Ooh, I want thousand dollars." And, yes, and, no, and, no, and, yes, gonna, and nobody's paying attention to the that fact that should that should be how black people look at politics. You should not actually act like. You're a part of what's going on. Nah, do you understand right. that? You, you should actually only look you, about what's going on for you. Do you understand that fascist regimes act like they are for the people? Sure. They really act like they're for the people. Yeah, yeah. But all they're really about is the elite. Of course. Trump don't Not, give a fuck about nobody in this room. At all. Trump don't all give a fuck about suffer. nobody except I promise you. He don't even give a fuck about them. Yes, he do. All right, in a minute. That's going to be the funniest shit in the world. Nah, he's I'm not. just happy Billy Bush finally got a job. <laughs> I, want, when he, I want that show canceled. <laughs> well, he did. Didn't he get that girl out of here? Fucking Michelle Wolf. No, not Michelle. Who? Uh, the other Michelle. Uh, uh, Kathy Griffin. Uh, oh, yeah. But, but in, yeah, in her, but every in her human defense, being does that. She deserved it. But every yeah, human being stupid. does that. Yeah, you knew that. If you have enough power and somebody go, like, that's, that's not normal. power. That's the point. That's the point. That's misuse of power. That's the whole point. How if you're, is a, very, it if you're a very power? powerful person, you shouldn't do things like that. When you Remember, we had this conversation about forgiveness. True forgiveness comes from when mm -hmm. you can actually do something to somebody. But when you can actually do something to somebody and you can crush them, but you forgive them because you, you are the person with the actual so, power. Charlotte, sure. just out of curiosity, let's say, let's assume that. Trump is a fascist leader and he has a monopoly on power. Mm -hmm. What has he been able, what of his agenda has he been able to push through effectively? Because he's so ubiquitous with power mm -hmm. that he can do whatever he wants. Like, has he been able to, like, I don't know, like, stop Muslims from coming here? Yeah. Yeah, no, Muslim No, no, yeah, they still Muslim. come. He, he called, he, he tried, order. but they couldn't do but, it. Which, by the way, that right there is fascist. But wait, wait. Ignoring wait. the law and using your own executive no, order. No one's, no one's denying whether he wants that. I, I would actually agree with you. I think Trump wants to run America like he runs one of his businesses. And sure. business is fascist, right? It's just yeah, like, yeah. I run it. So I don't think that that's a bad point. What, what I would say is that America has an infrastructure and systems created to eliminate the ability of somebody's uh, the limit to limit the ability of power and to do saying, and, and, even and, if they want it. It shows you're right, but he's saying fuck all of that. This guy wouldn't even show up for fucking subpoenaed shit. Like, no, we're right, not showing right, up. That's my he don't give guy. a fuck. There's no law and order. There's right. no checks and balances. Right. I was really feeling no, but there are that. checks and balances, right? He ain't right. following them, regardless of whether he follows them or not. Like, there's checks and balances. What he personally can do and like his power and his ability right. to do it's certain limited. shit. Like even with the wall, right? He's like, <laughs> we're gonna do the wall. It's like still no. He hasn't replaced that fence with that wall still. Right? It's like now it's a Fence now it's four years. <laughs> Give him a minute, bro. Yo, but son, it, think it about how long. Give him a minute. Replace a fence with Think a about wall. how long, though, right? Give him a minute. Think about how long, though. So it, it's like, listen, he'll have time because he's going to be in forever. <laughs> right? Because when, when, when he wins wall? next year and he gets a couple more Supreme Court justices on that motherfucking Let's team, say he does right. win. and he does some constitutional Let's amendments, say, he says, you know what? I like it here. Well, By the way, he's already told you that. But check it. The, he the, told you I'm not leaving. But check it. The justices, the justices, he can, the justices can't amend, right? So what all justices can do is decide if a bill is or isn't constitutional. So those bills have to pass through the House, which is not his. It is the Senate is his, but the mm -hmm. House is not. Senate is his. Who else? Supreme Court. But does not matter? In order to get to the Supreme Court, just because of the division, right? In order, it has to go through the House. And then what happens is this. If if the Senate is okay with the bill, it can, then goes to the House and so they can veto it. What if he it. wins the House in 2020? What if he wins re-election and then wins what, the House in 2020? What, what often happens is— and, and then you have the Senate. Who knows? We don't know. Do. What often Every happens is like a sitting, a sitting party, right? What you'll have is if the president is in power, you see what happened in the midterms where there's usually a flip— in the opposite, there's a flip in either the House or the Senate, and that's what balances the power out. I got a different, I got a different card now. Which I got is? that cheat code, baby. Which is Moscow, Russia. I got that cheat code. Right, right. Now, now I'm just saying. But that's another thing, right? There's another thing going on, right? If it is totally possible for Russia to influence an election, much like we influence every election in the world, right? I'm, I'm so, glad you said that. And, and yeah. actually, that's the best thing that should happen because when you're not influencing elections via social media, you're doing it through physical force. But going from does did they influence the election and did they do it in cahoots with Trump, 
that's a different step. That I don't think I don't think Trump I don't think Trump is the passive beneficiary of Russian interference. I think Trump is the actual. I don't plant. understand. What's I think the, that I think that Russia is the ICBM, that's fair, but and I think I know I think Russia is the ICBM and right. Trump is the warhead. Well, asking, look, that might be the case. But, if, I'm, if I'm Putin, right I want to control the world. Right. Fuck going to war. This is what I'll do. No, no, no. Hundred percent. Let me plant I, this in the White House. Hundred percent. I'm just saying that right well, now is, they haven't. They benefit? don't have any proof that could say mm-hmm. that it's jumping from we wanted this guy in to he's working for us. Th- there's just no proof. That's true. There's no but connective there's tissue. No Not saying that it's necessarily wrong or right. I'm just saying mm-hmm. that connective tissue isn't there. So why would Did, they block the election security bill knowing that there's all this Russian interference? So, if you're so American yeah, yeah. and patriotic, why would you block so, that? I, and it makes because com- you feel like you're the only one that's American and patriotic. No, huh? no, 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 no. For this bill, right, which makes complete sense, right? You're like looking at, you're like, well, why wouldn't, why wouldn't we have a bill that's put out there that just protects from this type of influence? Simple. And it seems like the most simple thing in the world. But what happened? What happens is, and I'm not saying it's right at all. But when any bill comes in, there's partisan nonsense that's stuffed in a bill. But this one was oh, bipartisan. Poor. This one was totally bipartisan. You would think. You would no, think, it wasn't. And, I didn't and, read and he the, shot it down. They sh- he shot it down twice. Right, right, right. It was totally bipartisan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't like it. They get did another one. He shot another one down. Right, right. And, and it's it given no sense. reasoning. And and look, it's, Other, but it's we, super but, suspicious. But it we, does. But we know the reason, Schultz. Which Come is on. which is what's the reason? They benefit from Russian interference. They gotta be in cahoots with each other. Yo, can I just so, put something else on the table when it comes to this Russia thing though? Like Trump was always talking about doing deals and this, that, and the third, and you know what I mean? When they ran with some with some dirt on Hillary and all that, I think it's more of a situation where he wants to hem up more properties there because everybody here knows he's full of shit. So it just makes sense that he's trying to get a foothold in Russia, or, or in Russia, Russia and other place else. Maybe. You know what I mean? And then he's probably getting it for what? Pennies on a dollar versus what he would pay all, here? All I know is when I learn how to properly pronounce fastest, y'all in trouble because oh, Jesus. Yeah. this shit <laughs> <Just> is <laughs> this shit is really crazy it's when you look when you look watch. at it in its whole totality. You it's like yeah. wait a minute. I just don't understand. And, and, and what bothers me is. There's no sense of urgency from nobody. Like because nobody's sitting around go- like because what's y'all going ain't to- tripping off what the fuck's going on? What's going to happen? What do you mean? What's what when it's all said and done? I don't feel like it's ever been a true democracy for black nothing, people. Right? Nothing is going to happen. Us. For, so for us, I'm talking about. So but, for us, but now you saw so you figuring out why white people ain't tripping. Yes, because but there's, some of them are though. Of course they. Some are. of them you see guys like Joe Scarborough and those guys. They're a like, lot oh, of Republicans, the, the national a lot of Democrats the, is yeah, tripping. because this ain't what the Republican Party is about. This yeah. is some crazy sickos. The, the national intelligence who just got forced to, to step down. Let's be clear, he got forced. He didn't just step down. He got forced to step down because he specifically said Russia is interfering with our elections, and they're doing it right now. Yeah, yeah. You can't do that on Trump's watch. You can't go against me, buddy. You're stepping down, and I'm adding this dude from Texas who's my guy who's going to know to shut the fuck up right. and not tell people about <laughs> our cheat codes. I like that guy. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, don't. my God, glasses. No, no. So I, I would do the same thing. No, you wouldn't. I mean, not, not on, not, let's, I don't let's, think, I don't let's think back up real quick, real quick, just out of curiosity. <laughs> just out of curiosity. <laughs> I don't know what's best for y'all anyway. <laughs> Didn't I just say I, I haven't feel like signed my sometimes. deal yet? A lot of times shit no. people do, I'd be like, dog, you should not make, most of y'all like should not make decisions for yourself. I feel Why like that do, Y'all cannot make a quality I, decision I'm not for gonna yourself lie. to save I'm not going to lie, I think that... I completely agree with you in that way, and I think that's why there's certain people that are put in positions of power so that you know. I think that's why God bless people with the gift of intellect to make decisions for people who can't make them for themselves. Right. So then it's at the at the mercy of whoever makes the decision. I honestly know. Just don't abuse your power, G. All I'm saying is. Hitler started off as an elected official. Here we go with this Hitler. That's all I'm telling you. I mean, Hitler wrote it down stop. and everybody ignored Trump him too. Nuts, like, we, we, we also got to stop calling everybody a Nazi, man. Exactly. It's getting yeah, that's really. Just, that's just corny it's too. I'll go that far. By the way, I'm glad out. you said that. Things start somewhere. Yeah. So what? They start somewhere. What we go? You know, Hitler was a baby, so. Watch out, saying, for, watch out for babies all I'm saying is because they America, grow up to be Hitler. America Schultz. is the most Schultz. arrogant no. country in the oh. world, and, and we Schultz. think that we cannot fall. German. Yeah, America guys. thinks yeah, that yeah. it's going to be hunky-dory yeah. forever. Right. We think that we can't fall. We think that the things that we see in other places can never happen here. Yes, they can. But what I'm saying is no, a lot of steps happen, happen in between, right? And we're, I think we're in the beginning No, we're not because our economy's booming. This is the thing. If the economy was dog shit— Right? Was then I'd be a little a bit nervous. Because the but fucking if the economy is, is the booming, is you Look, have you nothing to worry about. You're a financial guy. Yes. Every single financial person I talk to, rich, poor, from the Gary V's to whoever, it says it's only a matter of time for this shit coming. Oh, it's just the, bo- the bottom's going to fall out. It I always does. I'm waiting on the bottom to fall out. And, 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 and this has nothing to do with Trump. No. This is the way shit is. It's a matter of time. It's just like the dot-com bubble, the real estate bubble, all that. What happens if the bottom doesn't fall out? It's it's a, it's a statistical, it's mathematical impossibility. It's inevitable. Like if you drink that water, you're going to take a piss. It's going to happen. Might not happen right away, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen while Trump is in office. 
Probably because he's not going anywhere. He'll he'll do anywhere. everything. Say because the Democrats are y'all think each other forever. Y'all wait till Donald Trump win again in 2020. Goddamn it! I never thought he wasn't. I thought y'all gonna okay, so, running, so we Democrats can sit here and complain about people. it as long as we want. No, Why don't we figure out what we would do? Let's say, let's say that, let's say you want Trump out of office. Mm-hmm. What do you do to get him to lose this next election? All right, I'm gonna tell you. Go. I'm gonna tell you the Charlie question I've been go. asking every single presidential candidate. I'm gonna tell you the question I asked about Angela. I asked Angela Rye this morning on on the radio. Yeah. Everybody's talking about voting 2020. Right. How can you be so sure that our votes even count if the fight is fucking fixed? That's why this Russia shit. Out of, forget forget whether or not he's in cahoots with Russia. We don't even got to go there. Just the fact that Russia interfered and other countries can possibly interfere. How, they, can we how, ensure, how, how can that? we ensure that American yeah. people have a fair election in 2020? I'll tell you. Because they can't stop a ballot from being processed. Yeah, that's what the, the election security bill cut that. There are no paper ballots. What that's the mean? point. It's all There's digital. No it's digital, digital makes it even worse. Exactly. That's the point, Andrew. It's all digital. The election security bill <laughs> was to keep the paper ballots and all that shit going. Now, here's the thing. I agree with you 100%, and that 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 is a huge concern. But paper ballots have also been problematic. Well, but how did Russia... Right? Like, what actually yeah, happened? Like, what was the collusion? In Florida... What did they do? Another illegitimate president won. Uh, right? We're not going to sit there and act like they didn't announce Al Gore as the next president. 100%. Like, literally announced it. 100%. It was like, no, 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 wait a no, minute. No, run that back, run that back. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and but all them bushes got to work real quick. Like, boom, man. Somebody told me... <laughs> come on, his brother was a... Come on. But wait a this, minute. So this There's is been other presidents happen? that have been illegitimate that worked out, right? I I think some may, may people may even made the argument about Lincoln, where they kind of doctored some votes. Damn. Kennedy in Chicago, I think they had some. The mafia had oh, some yeah, trucks I mean, knock out the things going with the paper ballots. So look, there are benefits. You know, did Kennedy work out? Yeah, I mean Kennedy was like well, a, he got blasted. He got yeah. Does he kind of killed the whole federal Abraham reserve Lincoln thing? Got blasted too. Damn. But see, that's the kind of president you really need to have a chance as a renegade. The one thing that I do like about Trump is he is a renegade. Now I don't know how it's gonna work out. If it's gonna work out against us or for us, most likely it's not gonna be for us. But I'm interested to he's see. He's a renegade for the rich. This is the same kind. I do not believe is, he's a renegade. This is, for this, is for this is Kanye. I don't saying, believe that. This is Kanye saying I'm gonna make paparazzi stop running up on celebrities' houses and shit like that. Who get what? What does the average person give a Donald fuck Trump about is that? A renegade for, for the rich. What do, I don't think what do the you rich do like for 2020? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't do something about this Russian interference. Like Trump, even the, if, if Russia can do it, you think China's on, not going to try to do it? What's that? Uh, interfere with our elections. They in should. a real way. They should. But that's my point. If, 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 interfere can, how? Are they going like... Re- they digitally manipulating votes? No, no, no. They, they won't digitally manipulate votes. What that's they'll do lot. is they'll do targeted advertising. No, that's one part of it. They're not going to manipulate votes. That's what that, that's not what Robert, Robert Mueller said. That's not what Senate Intel said. Yeah. It said they have the ability to change votes. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. that. Hey, man. All I'm that. telling y'all is to read a little bit. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not making this shit up. This is the Alex Jones theory. I don't believe it. This is shit that Senate Intel said. I don't believe because both are susceptible. What do you mean? I don't believe because both parties are susceptible to that. So, for example. Senate Intel is Republican. No, no, no question. No question. What I'm saying is both parties are susceptible. One second. Glasses. One at a time. One at a time. Both parties are susceptible to it, meaning if you can't hack, right, the Democratic Party can hack and the Republican and Party can hack. And by the way, you're hack. right. And that's, this is when the problem is going to come in. And this one, this, one I, this one I think is going to become an issue. If China or somebody that doesn't like Trump interferes next year. Right. And then the intelligence committee Saudi says, Arabia. Well, China interfered in our elections and they're doing shit for the Democrats and this, this uh, win isn't legitimate. What do they do then? They take that shit to the Supreme Court. What does the Supreme Court say? Yep, y'all lost. Trump won. You got to know why? Because he controls the goddamn Yeah, but you got to actually realize there, God, there, has to, there has to be a better candidate. He doesn't though. control the Supreme there really Court. There really doesn't have to be an electable candidate. Yeah. The Constitution get, controls listen, the Supreme Court. He's not going to need any collusion. 100%. These are constitutionalists. If you're like, Kavanaugh, you're not, you're, not, you're not beholden to Donald Trump? No, you're beholden to the Constitution. Shit. Kavanaugh, I'm being honest man, with you. Yeah. You have to understand, these people that, look, constitutional lawyers, we they should, should actually... We Trump should, should be beholden to the Constitution, right? Is he? Everybody should, but I'm not saying he is. What I'm saying is we should have a constitutional lawyer come here and sit down. These are the most robotic, pragmatic people on the mm-hmm. place of the universe. Not anymore. Their perception of the Constitution is dictated by their politics, but that perception is unwavering depending on who the president is, right? So if the bill comes up and it's unconstitutional within their perception of the Constitution, it doesn't matter if Trump wants it or not. They're like, yo, this is a life position, fam. You can't get me out of here. Remember, justice is for life. Yeah, so, so if Trump is not on their good side, he got someone not on their good side for life. I believe he got He got to kiss their ass, not the other he's, way he's around. A, he's, he's a personally appointed too, right? Kavanaugh, and then... Um, Who's the other president, Chris? Roberts. 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 No, not Roberts. No, the... the, the 
Republican. I thought it was a Puerto Rican. I don't remember who it was. No, the Soto so, uh, so so so, so, so so Mayor. Was Obama, that was Obama? That was Obama. He's personally appointed too. They're beholden to him. I really truly feel that way. No, they're Especially beholden Kavanaugh. to the Constitution. I don't believe that. I, I agree with what you're saying. They're supposed they're, to be. They're supposed to be. Of the law, I don't believe that. But first of all, you know why their people... perception though? Their their perception because they are they do vote based on their party. Exactly. And they looked at all these votes throughout history where if you're a Republican, you see the Constitution in the most conservative sure. way, and if you're a Democrat, you see the Constitution in the most Democrat mm-hmm. way. Right. But so that also, is their perception so, on it, not Trump's. So that's it, all I'm so saying. That said, if, so with that said, let's be clear. The, they'll, the, they'll never challenge uh, um, a, a Republican win, right? For they president. Will. But if they challenge a Democratic one, right? If they say, well, say this, they happen to can win, though. I think Biden, Harris. Nah. Uh, yeah, easily. Nah. Yes, they could. Nah. All, I mean, they all will, the po- They will nah. not challenge they have no it. Chance. It's not their job to You don't to think they would? It. No, because their job is to uphold the Constitution in the way they see it. And that is complete independent to whoever is president. And I know it sounds. But it has to go to the courts, dude. I, right. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Don't we, it got to go to the courts, Chris? If something like that happens, no, the president is the president. If if an election, uh, if they challenge, if, an if they challenge made. a win for president, don't eventually the DOJ. Yeah, oh, well, I'm, not sure, would I'm go not sure that. I'm not sure that. Yeah, and, and I, we'll I, get to the court. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not sure that. And it might. You're, the DOJ yeah, will again, never challenge a Republican win. Mm-mm. That look, look from here on out. But when it gets to the when it gets to the the uh, Supreme Court, right? They are just going to look at this case in their perception of the Constitution. And that's independent to their... Because look, at here's the thing. New Jack, Senators, New Jack, New Jack City, check it, baby. check it, check it, check it. Senators <laughs> and, and uh, in the House of Representatives, uh, representatives, Senators and Representatives, they're beholden to Trump because they're like, I gotta get reelected. These motherfuckers in the Supreme Court, they don't gotta get reelected. It suck my dick. Everybody. They're there for life. So it's whatever they see. These senators are like, oh shit, I hope Trump doesn't tweet about me or I hope uh, he'll, he supports me on the trail. Right, that's that's why they got to kiss ass to Trump. Do you, you see the whole uh, Senate is doing whatever Trump says? The the whole the Senate, Senate, the DOJ, the DOJ is not only protecting Trump because who appoints D- he, he's who appoints using, him? He's using the DOJ to prosecute people that go against him. But who appoints him? I don't fucking know. Who appoints the DOJ? Right? Is it the president that appoints the? Uh Clerks of the. I don't know. I don't know who appointed the DOJ. Okay, maybe maybe it's not. I, I, I'm not as nuanced in like that part of uh, a government operation. But my point is, when it comes to certain positions that are not beholden to the president, they don't need to be loyal. So what I you're saying is how it should be, right? right. In theory, in theory, yeah. in theory. Yeah. Yeah. but in theory. Like the rules of monopoly or the rules no, of space. Not, not right now. The, those guys, the game. those guys just, are riding for Trump, bro, in a way that they've never ridden. Rowan, what the fuck am I trying to say? Ridden for any other president. So that just means that's exactly what I'm saying why Biden doesn't stand a chance. He's oh, not know. going to beat Donald Trump. Not, none of them stand a chance unless we figure out what the fuck is going on with I don't care what you do, from Biden other wasn't going to have a chance against Trump. You need a real No, all, all, all the polls show Biden Yo, he's Biden up. can beat Trump. He's up but another so 19%. Yeah. But it's early. Who? Trump or Biden? By, uh, Biden. Yeah, he came all, back the poll, up. all the polls show he's Biden can stud, beat Trump. Dog. It's early and, and when George W. Bush Stole the election, won the election, whatever you say. At this particular point in history, at Even that Dave point, uh, damn, John McCain was leading in the polls. Like it's too early to say that Biden is going to walk away with. So here's it. I'm not thing. saying he is. Here's the thing about I actually polls. think Senator Harris is the best choice. And it regardless, is. and regardless if she is or and she you know isn't, why I feel that way? Why, why is that? Because Donald Trump is a criminal, and you know you need to go up against a criminal. You need a prosecutor, a prosecutor that prosecutes single best, moms, the best prosecutor them. in the fucking country. There you go. And look, look, and, and know, it man. is, it is, yeah, look, shit. it's a fun matchup that for hard marketing. Crime just spells disaster for black yeah, people. Yeah, somebody that, somebody that hard on comedy. So it, Joe Biden it, spells disaster for black people then? Anybody that, I don't, I'm not fucking with Joe Biden. Joe Biden wrote the 94 no. crime bill. I'm not and the 88 crime Listen, initiative you, that gave niggas more missed, time for crack than coke. Maybe you just missed the point. Right. I'm not fucking with none of the Democratic no. candidates. That's why I hope there's some fireworks. This is, we're putting this out on Thursday. This is Wednesday. I hope it's some fireworks tonight. I hope Biden goes at Kamala for her prosecutor record. And I hope Kamala comes right back and says, nobody put more people in, black and brown people in jail than you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then if he don't come back with your close second, then we're gonna have a problem. Yeah. And I hope Trump tweets out these niggas. Right. Because right. they're right. eating themselves. <laughs> the greatest day in politics in, in the world. This has and ain't been nobody gonna get mad because he used politics. it right. I never thought politics could be this exciting. If I was Trump, I would tweet out Bro, free ASAP in the middle of the debate. He does it, dog. For no reason. That's why I'm not with y'all. Free this is does a celebrity. Free ASAP for no reason. Yo, if Trump if Trump gets ASAP out, I don't know, man. Because you know some people who don't have the, the political acumen might be like, well, Donald Trump can't be that bad. Maybe Kanye right. Trump can't Don't be that act bad. like it couldn't happen. Everybody thought Trump couldn't Trump get elected. Trump couldn't be that bad Trump, in the first place. Trump, yes, he is that yes, bad. Yes, he can. That bad to do what? 
Tell me one he, thing so scary wait, and bad he did. When just someone gets see. on a podium oh, at, a, at a rally and the says, Asian Jew want, hey, The Asian Jewish man wants to speak. <laughs> He's been posturing for a while, did, bro. So He's pissed off. Them goddamn he China tariffs. He piece of shit. Hold on, 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 Get your jokes off now because I have some inside intel on that. That's what I wanted to talk about. Okay, go. What's up? I have a friend who very far left this, you know, progressives. Ran out of money. He sold out. He took a job with a high-ranking Republican organization. And he just came back. He was in the White House last week. And the intel that he says everyone is telling him and talking about in those circles is Trump, from here to the election, is going to make the entire thing about a trade war with China, about the tariffs and all that stuff. However, he's already cut the deal with them. The deal is done. So six weeks before the election, he's going to announce— Genius. That Brilliant! That dude he took them to the that's hove, and he got his fucking concessions. But that's, it's already a done that's deal. That's fucking hove. That's what you're supposed today. to do. Yeah, that's called sandbagging. He's that's sandbagging. hove. Does that. Hove is the king of that so, shit, guys. It's all going to be China tariffs, China trade war for the next foreseeable future. Why are we surprised that he's outsmarting everybody? It's what he's done he's a for the last guy. six years. I mean, no, it's what he's done for his entire career. He's a You're marketing 100% guy. You're 100% right. The guy... He was broke as fuck and then convinced and comes America up. Up that he was still rich and then created a reality show. And the Instagram model. Real talk. Yes. You know and what? We, you know what we gotta do stop doing? To this day. This is what we gotta stop doing. Man, if we you talk wanna, about this if all you the wanna time. Be, if you wanna beat Trump, you got to stop assuming exactly. he's dumb. Yep. Everybody That's out there goes, this guy's a, no, no, no. Dumb. This guy's an idiot. This guy's a dummy. This guy's whatever. And the second you say that about him. He got you. He got you. Right. By you the know, way, he's not good. dumb. And that's why I'm telling everybody to wake the fuck up, up and right. pay attention to what the hell he is doing. Because he has a monopoly on this whole shit right now. And if y'all, you know, it's a joke, right? He, he says things like, oh, you know, uh, I might just stay around a third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term. Yeah, I don't, you know, maybe. That maybe be a fella. This motherfucker did a that whole meme. He did a a whole meme that 2020 2024 yeah. 28 32 so forever about that. See, it's it, so scared about because it's Saddam possible. Hussein. Because the way he's lining shit up right now, it's possible. He has no action. All right, zero action. Okay, zero action. Okay, bro, zero action. And if, see? when he does it, zero. Yo, I'm gonna take see? my rich ass to Anguilla and I'm gonna tweet out. I told y'all niggas. <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> right. I'm a pussy daughter. I told y'all niggas. <laughs> told All right. <laughs> okay. See, he has no chance. All right, no y'all chance. Keep saying that. that y'all said that. Y'all said that. Y'all said that about his president. That's why I'm not saying it. Y'all said. That about his I never said, I said that about I the president. I never said that because I've always said it's no way. I do not believe these people are gonna pick a woman over a white man, even if he has no experience. And other thing you need to take into consideration: she was a horrible Just candidate. Horrible. Well, listen, yeah. Yeah, she was. Just off the Mueller report, right? Yeah. Trump got let's just say ten obstruction of justice charges. Mm. Just, just, just minimum. Sure. Several lying to the FBI charges. He a real New Yorker. Hush money with hookers, everything. <laughs> Only reason he's not in jail right now, per Robert Mueller, because he's a sitting president. And you can't try arrest a sitting, sitting president. Arrest sitting president. Yeah. He's a real New Yorker, but he's just would you and leave? just gonna do what he wanna do. <laughs> <laughs> if you knew you was gonna spend the rest of your place, life bro. at 80 years, you're 80 years old, whatever the fuck you are. If you was going to jail for the rest of your life, would you leave? Oh, I ain't going nowhere. I'm a fan. No. Yeah, I'm gonna hold this shit up. I only got about ten more. I'm a, I got about eight, ten more good years left anyway. I'm gonna ride this shit out. Be, okay, Drew, I'm gonna ride this shit here? the fuck he out. He cannot hold it. He's not going. If he won, that's it. Is he's not gonna have no action. Do I mean? don't care whoever he puts in place. He's not gonna have action. He's not gonna be able to turn the situation into what he wants. All right. All right. But he might free ASAP. So that's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. If he free ASAP, his whole term, this whole four years, is probably gonna work out. Hey, man. Guys, this has been another episode of Brilliant, Brilliant Idiots. Wow. All right. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Glasses belong. Give me your Twitters and Instagrams and all that stuff. Man, I'm Googleable, guys. I'm Jesus Google. Christ. <laughs> Google. Taz. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not Googleable. So <laughs> on uh, on Instagram, it's The Business Bully. If you go to thebusinessbully.com, we're doing a, uh, a business coaching session right now that's going to last an entire year, plus a trip to Cancun and tickets to next year's BullyCon, which is an incredible event. If you really worried about politics, you need to be worried about getting your money up because you might lose your job, but it's much easier to keep your business. So go to thebusinessbully.com and uh, register so we can give you that work for 68 cents a day. Boom. That's right. Uh, if you like this, if you um, listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant. You're absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. So there's no need to be offended by idiots. Okay? And this podcast has been brought to you by HBO's newest comedy, 
a black lady sketch show. That's Sorry. right. Wow. Robin Thies. I love Robin. Quentin Brunson. Quinta Brunson. Ashley Nicole Black. And Gabrielle Dennis. And guest starring Issa Rae, Angela Bassett, Laverne Cox. And I think more. Issa Rae is the EP of this show, if I'm not mistaken. You know, she might be. Yeah, she's the executive producer of this A show. Black Lady Sketch Show is a first-of-its-kind comedy that explores culturally relevant themes, including social norms, anxiety, religion, sex, dating, and relationships in a limitless magic reality. A Black Lady Sketch Show airs this Friday, 11 p.m., only on HBO. I think we, we, we skipped a couple. We skipped what? We got to do those right now? Yeah, this is the Martin shit I'm doing right here. I gotta go to the whole All right, ready? Hold on, we gotta cut that all you right there. Yeah, all right, we got, I got it. Hey, let's take a break for a second. We gotta pay some bills, uh, guys. Please, please, please take us seriously when we say this. If you need Yeezys, Jordans, Off Whites, and you're getting them online, there's only one place that you need to go to. All right, it's goat.com, G O A T dot com. It's the safest way to buy and sell authentic sneakers online. They're the largest marketplace in the world for authentic Yeezys, Jordans, and over 600,000 sneaker listings. Okay. Obviously, they got these Birkenstocks. I know everybody jealous of these. You want to get them fresh Birks, you know what I mean? With a puka shell anklet. Little you slides. You do that, you know what I mean? These are white boy slides for sure. Anyway, GOAT does this by only accepting sellers with the best reputation by verifying all sneakers to ensure their authenticity for buyers. Every detail is inspected from the stitching and color to the size and weight. GOAT certifies that every pair of sneakers on their site matches exact factory specifications with over half a million sneakers on their platform and 10 million users, you won't find better prices for verified 100% authentic sneakers anywhere else. Find the perfect 100% authentic sneaker at goat.com slash idiots. That's goat.com slash idiots. Plus, you'll also be supporting our show. Don't you want to do that? But you got to go right now before your sneakers that you want are gone when you go to goat.com slash idiots, G-O-A-T.com slash idiots. 